And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Geek Watch, a subsidiary of the monastery, the open bar of the internet. I am your one and only gaming monk, better known as Mildra, and with me I have two of my good brothers here in the temple. We have the man who is taking over all of your anime and guiding you through all of your all of your VTubers. Good brother Shades. And yeah. we have the man of a thousand runes and the bane of my existence. No, sorry, the bane of my fucking existence. That's myself. the important part. <laughs> good brothers, good brothers, Anatrix. We are we are back. Um, I have already I have already gotten the majority of my birthday licks, and I th I thank I thank you, Shades, for for your restraint in not th in not throwing a bunch of Kogamis at me. Um, oh damn it! You ruined my fun. I was just about to. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay, Shades. At least on his birthday, I did my best Kogami impression, and I say it was pretty pretty good. Not far that off. That was the be that was the better impression. The more, the more cursed thing is 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 you coming to the Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to give a bit of context for that. So Please. you see, so you see, I was talking the other day about how. We were announcing his birthday stuff, and I told everybody, you know, be there, but don't bring any chocolate. I'm the only one allowed to bane his existence. And it immediately came to mind. Holy shit! I'm Majima! He's Kiryu! And he told me, no take back, so I'm like, try and take it back! <laughs> so now, now because Mildred-chan, when Romajid, has the same amount of syllables... I can pull a Majima anytime I want. I have suddenly yeah. become very afraid the next time that next time that I'm at a con with Zan because I know he's gonna bust that at me. It'll See come it. out across the entire con room floor. Just oh, show, just showing up, just showing up out of nowhere, like like, like Majima does in Yakuza Zero. <laughs> oh, God, the monk. I may not have thrown a bunch at you, but you know we got a tradition to uphold. Yeah, I know. Let's do it. To you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Obedito, Shibarashi. Yeah, I'd as a bit as a bit of an aside. I can't. I can't help but gloat about the fact that we have we have used the that the um the skull chant has become has become such a such a staple of the monastery that Good Brother Ball wants to go, wants to go to U.S. Bank Stadium one day to hear it live. <laughs> that's uh that's uh that is quite the goal. Um. At the very well, least, he is. Has... Go ahead. I was gonna say he's a trucker, so if he anyone could make it out there, it'd probably be him. He'd be making more goals than the Vikings. That's not saying much. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I just I had caught a clip of a, of a preseason game against the Broncos the other day. It was it was like it was like tw it was like twenty three to three or something like that. I'm like, I know it's the preseason, but we're losing to the fucking Broncos. Without Elway. No, Elway's still around. He's just he's just haunting the office instead of haunting the field. Like I said, without Elway, he's useless anywhere else. Although, <laughs> if you want to see some real hilarity in sports form, look up the Mud Bowl. No, thank you. I know what you're talking <laughs> I'm about. Good. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. It is the it is the greatest worst game of all t that I've ever seen. <laughs> it's not the it's not the worst football game because that still goes to the ice bowl. Although some people would say that doesn't count because that was pre merger, but yeah, Lambo Lambo Field in February, and it's it is it is not just cold; it is fucking cold. <laughs> as in as in just just blow just blowing the whistle could be a health hazard. Yeah, don't me don't mess around with don't mess around with winter in ja in January and February. It'll fuck you up. 
Um, but onto 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 the business at hand. So I had come to I had come to a realization that one we had we hadn't we had had a bit of a while bef since we had talked about anything Toku, and even more so, we've had an even bigger while since we did something world building e. So I thought, why not mix the two together? So as as I was go as I was going through the possibilities on how on how to do this kind of thing, um, with a f with a few ideas that I that I will prob that will probably dip into later down later down the line, like say like say make like say trying to imagine what a proper writer war would look like instead instead of instead of just another quarry fight scene because we've had enough of those I think. To say the least. Um. The the approach to the then I ended up thinking, Common Rider Gaim has a lot of allusions to to the Sen to the Sengoku period and to a certain extent a lot of a, a lot of allusions to Kabuki theater. Not as many as Shinkenjir, but certainly a lot. And th and then I thought about one of my favorite campaign settings in one of my favorite games, Legend of the Five Rings. I said, you know what? Let's mix these two together. Have them do the fusion dance. And thus we have Lock Seed of the Five Rings. Wah, 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 wah. <coughs> hey, folks. Um, so the, the idea of this is, is very simple. We take elements from L5R, especially the clans, we take elements from Common Rider Gaim, mix them together. So, in order to in order to set the in order to set the stage, I realize this is a bit redundant, but for the two people who are who aren't aware, I think we should give a bit of background, respectively, on each and what we plan on doing with this. So, I will start I will start with the Gaim end of the equation, and I will leave I will leave that to you to set the stage on that front, Shades. Ah, always leaving me for this one, and I love it. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who don't watch Toku or at the very least have not seen Kamen Rider Gaim, the premise is very simple. Basically, a forest known as the Helmheim Forest has slowly begun encroaching its way into the world, into the land, uh, into the uh, town of Zawame. A organization known as Yggdrasil has b been working on secret weapons to combat this invading threat, and they have been decided to use a bunch of street dancers as their guinea pigs. Starting out with a simple game involving summoning the uh, creatures of the forest called the Invest, until they eventually develop the Sengoku Drivers, which allows them to use the lock seeds that they find to become the heroes of the thing. There's a very big allusion to the Sengoku period, as Bunk mentioned earlier, uh, but it not in a direct way. We don't we don't get any direct name parallels or anything like that. Just some few possible allusions, but nothing specific. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is that basically. Fruit Samurai is the best way to describe our heroes in this series, and trust me when I say when we first saw the designs for this, we all just correctly scratched our head and goes, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and yet, it th the fact that a certain name was involved meant it ended up being one of the better series of that particular uh, era of Common Rider, because it was written by one Gen Urobuchi. You can imagine the chaos that ensued with that name involved. <laughs> Especially since <clears throat> this was his fir this was his first go at it, his only go at it, as mm. far as I know. Um, <laughs> I'd the admit, Udo I'd Butcher mm -hmm. with a with a common writer series is a uh, well gave us a great common writer series. I'm just sa I'm just saying, Gen Ur Gen, Ur Gen, Ur Gen Urobuchi, Joss um, pre, pre Avengers Joss Whedon. And jo and George R. R. Martin all walk into a bar. Everyone's favorite character dies. <laughs> no, 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 no! You forgot to include one more in there. Oh wait, no. If we include that one, then everybody just dies. Yeah, you were thinking what. Tomino, weren't you? Kill them all, Tomino. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Although, truth be told, when it comes to Gen Urobuchi, I honestly think that time ha that he's not as much of a butcher as he used to be. Well, neither is Tomino, though. But again, rails. Mm -hmm. Um, like oh, and I'd I'd say, 
I was I was gonna I was gonna bring up the 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 rumored story when it comes to Charlotte, but um, like you said, rails. However, the, how so so where Gaim is where Gaim is presented in this front is, for one, the lock seeds, um, and and as far as far as as far as hell as far as our equivalent to Helheim Forest, I've got plans for that, but not but not ex but not exactly. Um, when it comes to when it comes to the when it comes to the city itself, we're not setting it in that city, but we are setting it setting it in a city. Now, one thing I want to make absolutely clear is that we are only using the Sengoku drivers. The Genesis drivers were were off the table from the word go for for a couple reasons. One, um, the designs of a lot of the Genesis driver type riders are supposed to be European knights. But it doesn't really feel like that for a lot of them. No, <laughs> not really. Um, that and and the intent was supposed to be ma was supposed to be mass produced. Um, a mass produced version of the driver, which. Also, also is a head scratcher because you already have a mass-produced rider already, aka the Kurokage troopers. Mm -hmm. But the other, the other thing that we just that was going that was going to be off that was going to be off the table we had we had decided is for when it comes to the Genesis drivers is the Sonic Arrow. Now the at least at least the idea of all of the Genesis drivers using that as their primary. It was Especially dumb. Since, yeah, <laughs> like I can I can understand why maybe Sigurd would have had the Sonic Arrow. That makes sense mm -hmm. from the type yeah. of person Sid is. And if you had the energy, the Kurokage energy troopers, okay, fine. They like the energy versions of them. They I can understand having the mass-produced weapon, but. You look at people like Marika and freaking, you know, of course, Takatora himself. Just no. Yeah, Takatora should have just gotten an upgraded version of his sword and shield. Yeah, and Ryoma, too. Well, Ryoma, maybe. No, Ryoma's a guy. We know from the way Ryoma is as a scientist is that he'd want to be up close and personal. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. So he'd, prob he'd probably get a bladed weapon. A, maybe a smaller bladed weapon, but a bladed weapon nonetheless. Yeah, the other thing. The other thing is, one of the, is I always one of the things I always liked with the with the lock seed setup is every lock seed, um, getting a new lock seed meant getting a new type of melee weapon, and that may see that may seem a bit toyish, but when you look at when you look at the when you look at the lock seeds and the weapons that they that they're connected to. You had a variety that you don't see often in Toku. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, the main stuff we saw, a, a sword, a spear, a gun, a shield, that made sense. But then when you got to the secondary stuff, you had stuff like a, a mace, you had a, a, a freaking ball and chain. Mm -hmm. You had, like, uh, these giant-ass discs that look right at a soul caliber. Uh, yeah, so... The the primary lock seeds gave us uh, uh, the Dai Dai Maru with the orange lock seed. Uh, Baron had the you know the Banna Spear. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryugen had, of course, well his Budo Ryuho, and then the Melon Defender. Technically, Melon Arms didn't give a weapon; it gave the shield, and the sword was just the Musou Saber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every Sengoku driver, every Sengoku rider had a Muso saber on top of their other or their signature weapon, mm -hmm. and so then only the Dai Dai Maru could actually combine with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I, I especially like the fact that the, that the Muso saber has a gun built in. Yeah. yeah. Um. Because I, because fuck you, Spoonie. Gun blades are awesome. <laughs> yeah. But the uh, the the side weapons, the like for example the 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 strawberry Ichigo Loxy, mm -hmm. it was a speed based form with kunai. It was your typical ninja. Yeah. the the only real the only real outlier in terms of Sengoku uh, the regular lot seeds was the Suika arms because it was a giant fucking watermelon ball that could turn into either a robot or a fucking gyrocopter. 
Yeah. The only the only person who uh who when they use this arm doesn't get that is Takatora. No, didn't he didn't he just get a didn't he just get a a weapon recolor? Yeah, his he didn't get the actual Suica arms. He just got a Suica lock a different watermelon lock seed. Mm -hmm. That gave him a gun shield, very akin to uh, something we're very familiar with there, eh, Monk? Yes. <laughs> And he and he actually he actually used his gun shield in a proper way, unlike someone. <laughs> we will never let it down. Nope. <laughs> I have I have held on to that grudge for what six years now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've told me that story, and I love it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, look, the only reason I get I get on him for that is because it was his idea. Yeah. Uh mm huh. -hmm. But th now that bring that brings us that brings us to the other end of the spectrum, that being Legend of the Five Rings, and um, z since I get since I gave one end of the equation to Shades, Zan, I'm gonna give you this end of it. Okay, so not to get too overly uh, into it, too detailed. Legend of the Five Rings is a tabletop game that takes place in what is essentially an XP of feudal Japan. You have multiple clans of different people within this feudal era empire that uh, each have their own sets of, of values and the way that they perceive honor and pursue it. Um, you have a political system behind it as well. Uh, Legend of the Five Rings is actually quite robust in both its actual combat and, uh, as we like to call it, its social combat. Mm -hmm. um, taking place in a mystical land called the Rokugan, uh, which was a society that is an empire, as I said, uh, sometimes referred to as the Emerald Empire because Rokugan allegedly means Emerald Land in the, in the language of the Celestial Heavens. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's got great clans and minor clans and even imperial families there are some outside uh, influences such as the, sh the Shinsei monkhood uh, what we are choosing to focus on here are the major clans and the imperial families so that we have a good mix of the different high values you'll see within the world and the different temperaments of each clan or family and match them to their lock seed. Now, in... I should, I should make one minor clarification, is that L5R originally started out as a card game that... that that made a bit of a name for itself when everybody was trying to, when, during that first wave and everybody was trying to rip off magic. Um, and it got popular enough to the point where an RPG version was made. Um, it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation about whether or not it came first or its European sister, 7th C, came first. Especially since both of them more or less used the same core mechanic, roll and keep. But the set the overall setup that we that we ha that we have with with this set is Rokugan. We are making into the si the city where this is taking place. Um, with the great clans, we we are give we are giving e we are giving each one we are giving each um each great clan has one rider. Essentially, one, essentially one representative of that of that particular clan that's ha that's handling the business. When it comes to our equi when it comes to our equivalent of the Helheim Forest, there's already one er there's already one very mysterious area in L5R that I think perfectly fits with what we're doing, and that is the Shinomen Forest. God. <laughs> The sh which is ho which is home to the Naga, who tend to tend to come tend to come out of hiding every every once every few centuries or whenever they feel like it. Otherwise, they spend long times asleep. 
That's one possibility. The other possibility in one of the big villain ends of things for um, L5R is the Shadowlands. Um, just ba is basically what happens when a god f when a god falls from heaven so hard he creates a he creates a hole in the world and and goes right into and falls right into hell. Um, or you could combine the concept of both. I would. That would that I'd say would actually work because we need to have something that would. I feel like the monster of the week equivalent that we could use are oni. Not to be confused with those oni. <laughs> Just that Which we, oni? There's many different oni. Yeah. Since we're dealing with common rider, of course, of course, when it comes to talking about Hibiki. them, is Hibiki and um. I get the feeling Hibiki will be so will be something we'll end up talking about on a future episode one day. Oh yeah. Um, just because it just not a, uh, I don't want to go too far into it, but I'll I'll simply say Hibiki. I can I treat I treat Hibiki the um to a similar regard to how I treat O Ranger, a good show that's overshadowed but that who's behind who's um. Who's out? Who's overshadowed by outside events? Except whereas O Ranger was by force because of I real life events causing trouble. Kibiki was ruined by backstage politics. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and unfortunate, unlike unlike say City on the Edge of Forever, I don't I don't see the possibility of us getting a novel over, that goes over the original plan. Unless it's yeah. already happened and it just hasn't been translated yet, but I'm not ho I'm not holding my breath because it very much seems like a lot of people involved with um, Hibiki are not in are not in the mood to to come back except for one guy who came back in a diff in a different coat of paint. Yeah, and that and also includes the original uh, actor because he was not happy with some of the changes that happened. No. Like I said, we'll pr we'll probably d we'll probably delve into that um, sometime down the road. Um, if we end up doing that, I guarantee it probably won't happen in 2021. Um, that's not that's not to say that we couldn't. It's just that the plans that I have for the rest of the year are a little bit too packed. As we have quite the thing <clears throat> to 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 quote something since we're coming up on spoopy times mm -hmm. we have such sight such sights to show you <laughs> <laughs> i i always i always i always love when i can when when i get when i can get somebody to watch hellraiser for the first time i know the cenobite priest is so cool oh excuse me people call him pinhead if you side note if um for Clive Barker really hates the really hates it when people call that call him that. The rest of us don't give a shit. <laughs> no. Um, truth be truth be told, I'd only bring that up to troll to troll if I if I ever meet Clive Barker, I'd be more, I'd um I I'd 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 probably I'd probably get I'd probably give him his props on Undying, which is really good, and and also ask. Were you real? Were you really about to? Were you really about to punch Roger Ebert in the face? <laughs> Is, yeah, ra short version. Roger e Roger Ebert, who, as everybody knows, was um ve was very did not ha did not have the highest opinion about vi about video games with that whole they can never be art thing. Um, way back in the day, he and he and um he and Clive Barker had a few confrontations, and he al he almost came to blows. Since Barker, even even when he, even in his early days, was a massive advocate for video games, which was uncharacteristic for ostensibly a Hollywood guy. But Rails. Now, within now within each within each within there, within each of the because of the fact that before I get into the clans per se, when it comes to this I, the reason why I wanted to use the Oni. As our monster of the week is because of one particular motif that Oni have in um, in L5R. the The most reliable way for that for them to gain power is by stealing someone's name. Yeah, 
Um, in fact, the only way that Oni can come into the realm of mortals um, is either an Oni Lord brings them or um, someone summons them by being willing to share their name in exchange for power. Mm -hmm. And given given how one of the cons one of the persistent threats is uh, Maho, i.e., blood magic, um, I feel I feel like we've got a bit of a foundation for for your monsters of the week and your mate and your major villain factions within the sh within the um, Shadowlands. Um, the kind of thing. Especially since, un unlike certain Toku series, especially a few Sentai I can think of, I am not in favor of this whole, of this whole thing of only ha only having two ge only having two ge two generals show show up er show up early on, and then bring and then bring it in more generals at later in the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Or in, or in in actuality, one general and one monster maker. It's not my. It's not my. It's not my style. When I when I want a villain faction, I want a fucking faction. And in this case, we in this case we have that kind of thing. What with, well, with the oni, and with and with say and with say Kansen and unde and undead basically acting as foot soldiers. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just instead of instead of the. Sh I think I think we can still have that there that there is the Shadowlands whole um. Outside, at one at one point out, we can probably have it that that's at one point out. Actually, you know what? I take that back. We can, as far as the, as far as the hole that's outside the Crab Clan's um, territory in the in the lore, we've I've got a, I've got a different I've got a different approach to that to that that we can use because the idea because with it with doing any sort of city setting in this sense, the key thing is to keep everything within the city. I can double every, for I'd say for the most part everything happened within Futo. For yeah. the most part, not counting the movies. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not I'm not counting the movies and and um I'm especially not I'm especially not counting one of the v, one of the V cinemas that that go that um goes on that goes on a trend I don't care for. <laughs> Hi Eternal. <clears throat> uh. It's eternally pain, and I do not enjoy my hell. <sighs> but as you always say, monk, God is punishing you for your hubris, and your work is never finished. As much as I hate to admit it, yes. So, with the, with the with the set with the uh, setups that we have now, um. I want. I wanted to. I wanted to set up a kind of a kind of random a kind of random city generator for this kind of thing, but I couldn't find one that would satisfy. So we're just gonna have to play that part by ear. But let's st let's start with let's start with the with um the first clan that I have on my list, and that is the Crab Clan. Zakurabu. Um. Arcani. Now. I am instead instead of you instead of using say co say common writer crab I I feel I feel like each of the common writer names we go after we go with <clears throat> should be the founding family of that clan so in this case it would be common writer Hida Yes Kami Hida was the man who or person mm -hmm. that founded this clan Yeah Now the now, the he, the Hida in 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 L five R are the men to the south. They're the ones who they're the ones who guard the wall that that um that protects that protects the rest of the empire from the bulk of the Shadowlands. It's been broken down and rebuilt many times over the years. In fact, I've I've often said that the he, that the Crab Clan is basically a better version of the Night's Watch from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Largely because they'll have the mindset of, oh what, they broke through? Well fuck it, we'll just make we'll just make the wall bigger. <laughs> um and of and of 
but because of, because of the fact that they are constantly on guard, they te- they a lot of the social niceties of the of 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 samurai of samurai culture aren't really on aren't really something some things that they establish. They are very rude. They don't they don't exactly go go with the whole thing of proper courtly dress and they are brutally honest. I've seen some people refer to them as Klingons or dwarves, which I'd say I'd say I'd say on, I'd say only fits tangentially. Um, to boil it down, um, it's it, they don't value sincerity as much as they value honesty, which is why they're going to be the most honest people. It's just going to be the most honest people they aren't going to hold back against what they might consider the fetters of niceties Mm -hmm. um Um, and this this basically boils down to a a might makes right situation in politics for them largely because largely because of the fact that they do because because of the fact that they're constantly on guard in in case in case an- in case another invasion happens from further south um that they are constantly in that they're constantly in that fighter's mindset um so in this case would we say that the that the crab clan in our in our city would be the district protecting everybody from what is essentially the slums of our of our shadowland equivalent i would do you remember? Do you remember how? Do you remember what happened with the meteor in um, *Common Rider Kabuto*? Yeah. I am. Th- I am thinking that we. I'm thinking that we do something like that. The the district that the Crab Clan over oversee was the one that was the one that got got hit the first, got hit the hardest when it came to Shadowlands incursion, and and still get and still gets hit semi semi regularly. Um. Because they're closest to the point of entry. Yeah. Okay. So because because of now, it would be tempting to make it look like a shithole. I'm not going with that. I'm going with the fact that all the buildings there are very utilitarian. There's ve- it's very um a lot of a lot of them are lined with metal. Um. So it, it looks re- like, it looks like a military city then. Yeah. And I'd I'd say I'd say a lot of areas are are lined with jade. Every if you're it's com, it, it would be common practice to walk around carrying a jade finger. Okay, yeah, I can see that. In context, um, jade is is one is one of the best ways to protect yourself from the Shadowlands influence. And much like say Sting glowing glowing blue whenever whenever orcs are nearby. You kind of have that. You kind of have that going for you. So if it glows, get the hell out. And the entire reason of this is because jade in Le- Legend of the Five Rings it are literally considered the tears of Amaterasu, the sun goddess. Mm-hmm. Um, now there's two. Now there, are, the Hida school. When it comes to the bushi end of things, they very much favor heavy weapons. So I'd say. The wet the um I'm not sh- I'd say that they should get the mel they should have the um melon lock seed as the people who do the protecting makes sense um I was going I was going to I was going to say either not that melon but the um sorry I was think I was thinking of the mango lock seed I don't know why I said melon <laughs> okay okay I was going to say yeah well the mango the mango lock seed is the one that uh. It's a, gets it's the a mango warrior. punisher a giant a giant fucking mace yeah yeah because the mo- one of the more co- one of the more co- if you look at a lot of the crab bushi in, in images you rarely see you rarely see them with the with the katana as their primary weapon um, more often than not they would ha- more often than not they have either a tetsubo or a ha- or a um, hammer yeah and unfortunately, there isn't a lock seed that ha- that has that that has a Tetsubo, so that's the best one I could I, I could come up with. Yeah, because it's a, it's a giant, <clears throat> it's a giant mace, flanged mace. 
Yeah. Um, so I, I can see I can see them with their writer there, who would obviously be the daimyo of the Hito family anyway. Yeah. Um, using mango arms. Mm-hmm. Now, as far the as... Only, the only problem I have there is, uh, is clan colors. Um, well... Um, well, we can, well that's some that's something we can always fix in post. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't cop out. Um, Blue grays with blacks, reds, and browns. And while yeah. mango does have red, it also has bright fucking yellow. Um, hey, it could Too be dark. it could be it could be argued that 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 it would that it would help it would help st- it would help the it would help the weapon stand out so you know exactly where where it hits. This is what we call a cop out, people. <laughs> this is this is what this is what we call compromise. I know. I'm just saying it, it's a good it's a good lock seat fit. Colors are the only issue, yeah. and colors are the now, least consideration. So the en- the energy end of things is where is where we is where we get a little bit where things get a little bit tricky, since the primary Shugenja school for the Crab Clan is the Kuni. Um. The Kuni are are spellcasters who are essentially witch hunters. They pa- they paint their fa- they paint their faces in angry kabuki fa- in angry, angry kabuki style paint, and their job is to their job is to go around lo- looking for um, blood magic practitioners. In fact, their in fact their school technique is is all about detecting if someone has um, taint. Oh. <laughs> Let's let's be honest here. There's three Cooney base paths and then a bunch of advanced paths too. Yeah, I'm going. I'm not going with the advanced. Pa- I'm not going with the advanced okay. path. The so we, the typical the typical visualization for the Cooney is the witch hunters. Yeah, we ha- we have the Cooney witch hunter, the Cooney Shugenja, and the Cooney battle healer. The actual Cooney Shugenja has an elemental affinity for earth. Yeah, it's el- um. So because because of that, we what would be what would you when it comes to the locks when it comes to the lock seeds, what would be a good what would be a good fruit to represent Earth? Mm. Out of the energy lock seeds, of which there are only four, we're prob we're probably go- that's why I said that's why I said what fruit because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to expand it to include more. Um, well, if we're thinking earthy fruits, mm-hmm. something that is literally a fruit of the earth. Hmm. Actually, if we're talking about the energy loxies, there is an alternative. Go on. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it, but it's the one that uh, Knuckle used in the movie. In one of the V cinemas. Uh, let me look at that real quick. That would be already... the... Dragon Marin. fruit entered. No, the Marin. Said oh. knuckle. Oh yeah, Marin Marin energy, which is chestnut. Yeah. I I could I could go with that, and I'd probably have it that a whole lot of earth magic, so a whole lot of um, we have the classic hitting the ground and ca- and causing tremors kind of effect. Um. I'd pro- I'd probably I'd probably also have it that they that um that they pro- that you could probably ha- you could probably have them have a finisher of of summoning a jade ball and hitting it like a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just because we we need a bit we need a bit of silliness. Um, <laughs> see, then we get, then we get to the Crane Clan. Yes, the crab's hated enemy. Mostly because they're the complete opposites of each other. <laughs> yeah, whereas the crab is is straightforward to a fault. The cranes are sneaky. They're a bunch of of sneaky backstabbery type people with a. The, you're thinking of the scorpions. Yes, yes, I am. Thank you. Brain is not <laughs> all here today. The crane are are very. I'd say a lot of people lean to the whole diplomacy thing with the crane, but in reality, 
the cr the crane as the emperor's left hand represent the more artistic end of of samurai. They are perf they are perfectionists, perfectionists yeah. artists. Um, shades for a bit for a bit of context. The crane was the was the character that Lady K had played during that campaign. Yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. Um, they. Uh, one of the, one of one of their one of their founders Kakita basically wrote the book literally wrote the book on EI jutsu dueling yep um and the and um their and their particular and most of and EI jutsu du dueling and just EI jutsu itself is a is a hallmark of the, of their clan but the whole idea is if you are perfect then your strike will be perfect yeah. Um, the 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 Crane Clan does not have a lot of military power, which is the other reason that the crabs don't like them. They think that the Crane rely too much on the Emperor and the and the Empire mm -hmm. rather than relying on their own strengths. But what they do have is a lot of political power. Yep. Yes, but um, especially especially since they're very they're very good at um, tr at trading favors with people so i'd s the f the founder for the founder of this one is Do is doji yep um doji's she, husband was the one who made the kakita was the one who made eiju mm -hmm. too yeah um there's also the da there's also the dai doji family which um are ba are basic i've seen some people refer to that refer to them as as crane ninja they are they are more they have they're more akin to to combat skirmishers than than the typical ninja yeah um but this is where things get tricky because we wouldn't because there's no way to do the crane clan without without a heavy focus on ei jutsu well you see that's going to be I don't I don't know if there were any lock seeds that had something like that. No, largely because the because of the because of the fact that the katana equivalent was the Musou saber and everybody had that, you know. Mm -hmm. Although half of them didn't use it. <clears throat> um hmm let me think. I would I would say, as I recall, as I recall, um, Peach was only an, was only an energy lock seed, wasn't it? Correct. Yeah, there was never a regular uh, lock seed for Peach. I feel like Peach should be should be our lock should be our weapon lock seed in this case, and the and that it and for that we have the we have a um. A, di a a more tra a more traditional ka more traditional katana and sheath setup um see that I, c I could see that I could see that um I had th I thought I had thought about using using a pole arm but there's a but there's somebody else who's who's more known for that kind of thing Mm -hmm. Um, I will I will say that when it comes to the territory that the Crane Clan have, um, this is this this would be the most art. This would certainly be the most um pretty looking um air, area with area within the empire or within the uh, city. You know, you know a whole a whole lot a whole lot of a whole lot of artists a whole lot a whole lot of of people of people on the i'd say it i'd say it'd be the equivalent to the more high society and ends of certain cities or at least the place is trying to appear high society yeah mm -hmm. okay like the like the more exp the more expensive areas in tokyo yeah our um our Shibuya's mm -hmm. and our. So I did a little <sighs> digging. Someone has come up with their own idea for a peach lock, like a regular peach lock seed. 
what weapon came out of it? A Momokusari. Sarigama? A, peach, a peach-themed chain whip. Yeah. Hold that, in that in that case um in that case the the peach is off because because the because that kind of chain whip I want to save that for something else. Like <laughs> it, it doesn't it doesn't really fit the crane. Um beyond the, beyond that I was I was thinking I was thinking possibly a um I don't know maybe Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'd I'd say I'd say in the, I'd say I'd say they'd get. I keep thinking that they should get the they should get the orange, and we're ju we're just doing a different spin on it. Yeah. You know the orange. A, a, qu a, a quick draw, Dai Dai Maru. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we we could call this one something like sparkling orange. Yeah, we well we well we had we had the fresh orange, so why not? I was just thinking that. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but <clears throat> by saying sparkling, you give it the idea of it being fast and precise. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I can. I can go with that. Okay. Oh. So sparkling orange lock seed. Their dai dai maru is not a large, broad bladed, curved sword. It is instead a katana within a sheath. Mm -hmm. That is still orange. I orange had, thought, I had thought about giving them a fan, but once, it, but um, I feel like I feel like that would um fit fit a different <sighs> setup. Indeed. What about their Shugenja end? The Shugenja end is the Asahinas, whose affinity is air. Yeah. Um, Asahina are main are 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 mainly they're mainly they are mainly scholars, but but so what we give them we give them lemon energy arms. I would I would say I would say give them I would say give them. Give them that, but all, but I'd I'd say I'd say that that any any energy abilities that they use are not are not are not direct attacks. Mm. It's all it's all redirects, especially since air is their is their element of choice. They'd be the one doing doing whirlwinds or or to be or to be extra or to be extra cheesy whirlwinds of whirlwinds of sakura petals. I mean that is something that the crane would do, and you know it. <laughs> oh, I I know. Um, and I had I had thought about putting in the Daidoji, but wouldn't but wouldn't fit. I mean, unless we gave the Daidoji Ichigo arms. Yeah, not really. I got other plans for that. Then we get to oh we get oh your clan's up next, Shades. <laughs> We get to talk about the Dragon Clan. <laughs> so, AKA the best clan. Hey. The dra the Dragon Clan are the are the are enigmatic. They te they tend to they even even with all even with all the interclan politics, they tend to keep to themselves unless unless threatened or unless some or unless they see something that they consider a significant threat to vent to venture further out. Um, they t they also tend to foster unique ideas am among the among their among their brethren. Um, there's oh, let's not for let's not forget the fact that the that on several occasions the head of the head of the clan can ha can have the limited ability to transform into a dragon. And I say very, I say very limited, as in only once in several years, and only if there's a sufficient threat. I just, I love how the dragon, like the dragon views on clans, are basically very, very. It's like how a, a wise man says riddles to people. They're also the only clan that has. That ha that has among their number a official monastic order. Yes. Um. I would I would say that. So when it when it comes to visualizing the Dragon Clan's district, um. I. What? How do you how do you how do you see their inter their interpretation of a modern city? So the. 
the Dragon Clan is they're they're a clan who lives in a colder area. Mm-hmm. They are secluded by choice, and <clears throat> they focus themselves on watching and recording the history of the Dokugan. Uh, not only that, they, they're too... Uh, their two, I guess, paths are very definite. Those with the skill with the blade get trained in Niten techniques, and those with the, the affinity for elements are, are trained there. And that, that, that is a very definite split. If I had to say anything, this is going to be... It's going to have to be near the central part of the city. So near where where we're probably going to have the imperial family imperial families in their their houses and their mm-hmm. districts as um an information bureau like it's a it's a clan that's recording and watching the history of this place this also means that they're basically um in a modern day city they're going to be watching security systems mm-hmm. um and I know that Mm. they like they're going to be the the intelligence clan of uh, in a way and while gathering knowledge is for them and later for the phoenix clan as we'll discuss um sort of their primary purpose what type of knowledge they're ga- they're gathering and how Plus, their ice, their extremely isolationist uh, policy is much different from the Phoenix Clan. Mm-hmm. So, them them being an information bureau or an entire information bureau city makes much more sense. You're going to see in a modern city, you're going to see a lot of uh, radio towers and other sorts of uh, communications devices. You'll probably see a much heightened uh, automation system. And you'll also see a, a, a heightened sense of, of security, such as, um, you know, cameras, maybe automated patrols, such as robots, since, you know, Yggdrasil was making a pretty futuristic city in the original Gaim. Um On top of that, because they don't like being bugged, the layout of their district is going to be confusing. Much like the actual labyrinths of the, in, in the mountains that the uh, Dragon Clan create in Dokugan and Belfivar, mm-hmm. uh, this city, this part of the city, is not going to have an official layout. In this, like, if you go to the city bureau looking for a, a layout of this sector of the city, it's not going to exist. Dragon, the dragons are going to have to have removed it. I'd, <laughs> I'd say, I'd say, I, you know how the, you know how there's the gag of a, of a lot of people's layers where you have. Where you pull that one book to show to show where the secret is, uh-huh. I get the I get the feeling that the Dragon Clan would have would have that would have that kind of thing a lot. Where it it looks like it, it looks like a normal district, but if you know where to look, you can you can find you can find just about any information. The key thing yeah. is you've got to know where to look. Yep, and the only people who truly know where to look are going to be other Dragon Clan members, depending on their ranks and how they're trained. Um, uh, and not only, not only is the this main district going to look extremely covered in this type of surveillance and information technology, mm-hmm. but you're going to see hints of it in every other district of the city, too, because, as I said, their original purpose being to watch and record the history of Rakugan, uh, this, this is going to need to be reflected in the city itself. Yeah. Um, now... When it comes now, when it comes to the when it comes to the Laxies, the first one I'd <clears throat> the first one I'd say I'd say is re- I'd say is relatively easy because the the um the Niten is essentially just using the katana and wakazashi, um, dual wielded. Yes, it's it's what Musashi pioneered. Mm-hmm. Or in this, or in the case of of L five R Mirumoto, because that's not a 
That's not an XP of Miyamoto at all. Um, I just I since we since everybody's getting the Musou saber, I feel like I feel like their lock their that all that all that their lock seed should be is just a short sword, just a just a short just a just a shorter blade. Um. The strawberry, I don't, the... the strawberry, I don't think that would fit because it's too ninja. Mm -hmm. Well, and I, I was especially going to say, while there is a two sword, there is a two sword uh, lock seed. It, those types of swords don't really don't really fit. The noko saws from the durian arms are uh, are, are more well bludgeony, weapony looking things. That and that and that particular that particular arm setup is a little bit too gladiator. Very gladiator. Mm -hmm. That's why he called it Bravo. Um. <laughs> um. Uh. Hmm. This may be a case where. Let me see. I. You know how we, you know how we kind of, when we, how we kind of, how we kind of, um, how we kind of cheated when it came to, when it came to the last entry. Yes. Why not have, why not have fresh strawberries? <laughs> For two Kodachi and turn them, turn them into Aoshi Shinomori. Um, not two Kodachis, just, just one, just one. Okay, we can try that. Mm hmm. Um, I I had to make a Roroni Kenshin reference at least once. <laughs> um, now the the Tamor now when it comes to the energy end of things, the Tamori are be they are an, they are Earth they have an Earth affinity, but um, the Tamori are alchemists. They are straight they are straight up alchemists. Their technique talks about. Distilling the essence of ma of ma of magic and containing it within c within objects. Then I say we give them the dragon fruit uh, energy lock seed from the movie. Not just because it's Dragon Clan, but because that one literally turned a human into an invest uh, a high level invest overlord in, uh, as part of its. Uh, Rather than taking the short, the the sh the uh, long path that Kota did, it immediately turned a normal person into an Invis Overlord. So, at least immediately in the in the same uh, particular movie, it it, it, was, it was not a time period of an entire show. That's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. Um, and so. It's not just because of the fact that it, that it's uh, a dragon fruit, which you know, theming, but uh, because of the fact that it it their whole thing is about containing the energy itself and transforming things as alchemists. This is a transformative item beyond what these already do by just equipping people with armor and weapons. This also the there this also um, ties into one other thing that. I know we skipped over the Daidoji, but when it comes to the Togashi monks, I do th I do think that that um that one that one of the common status symbols for people within the Dragon District is gonna be tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Now, sh if I, as I recall, Shades, your character, even though he wasn't a tattooed monk, he still had tattoos on. It's been a while. I might have. Yeah, I remember. I do remember. I do remember that he had a dra that he had a dragon tattoo that went across his back and on his, and onto his shoulders. Because, well, in my, in my defense, when I suggested that I was playing, I was playing, um, I was playing one of the Yakuza games. <laughs> <laughs> and, all right, got. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and call it early. I'm already fading over here. All, all right. Th thanks. Thanks for stopping by, Shades. Yeah, have yeah, a good night, guys. For, thanks for giving it a shot. Stay frosty. <laughs> so, but I, but I do, th and I do think that that um they that they would probably we can probably combine we can probably combine both that they ha that 
they'll um they might dr that they might do actually I think I think the I think the best example that we that I can use is for this kind of thing is um Sai from Naruto. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Draw, draw, putting putting together putting together quick drawings and have and having them t having them temporarily come to life. Yeah. His his ink jutsu. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, feel, I feel like that would be a good way to com to combine these two these two effects, since mm -hmm. you can since you can easily have it that everybody has some form of some form of of self defense or obfuscation or just the whole idea the whole idea with the, with the dragon clan is that even even the tattoos contain secrets. Yes, which makes sense. Um, the key thing is I don't want I don't want their particular district to look like a police state. But more, but more of um, more of the secret society kind of archetype. I I wasn't implying a police state with the, with all of the technology stuff. Just that there would be a lot more surveilling technology there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, next we have the Lion Clan. A samurai samurai. Yeah. The douchebags. Yep. Most militant and aggressive, and revering the Bushido and loyalty. The Lion Clan very much represent very much represent the warrior ideal of the of the samurai. The problem, their big problem, is that they are is that they are the most inflexible and uh, and um judgmental. Of the clans, to the point where Essent they look down on everybody who they who they see as not as not as honorable as them. I.e., they look down on everybody who isn't an imperial, an imperial or uh, or themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and the if I had to epitomize the Lion Clan as anything, it is once again a comparison to actual Japan. The Lion Clan are everything that Musashi saw wrong with the samurai as a cast at the time that he was alive. Pretty much. Which is which is which is why I f which is why I find um I find the I find um some of the fact that hit the fact that apparently even CEOs in J in Japan have copies of the Book of Five Rings when the whole the whole thing is the whole thing is one giant fuck you to the samurai cast of his day. Well, there's a um, there's an interesting uh, there's an interesting turn of ideals that came around in the seventies and eighties, um. But was one that was even since the Meiji Restoration of everybody trying to emulate Musashi and his way of Bushido over the way of Bushido as it had previously been uh, seen. Mm -hmm. Now, the oh, when I look at it, when I, when it comes to when it comes to their first uh, lock seed, um, the most common weapon. In fact, in fact, one of the weapons that's key to their fighting styles is a Tessen, a war fan. Um, and the to the and I'd s that a, that and um of and of course of course be of course in the in the ga in the game being able to being able to being able to weaponize their their level of honor um when i visualize a a com a um common rider okoto in this case i i see them as being very paladin y yeah um if i had if i had to as far as how paladin y i'd say not too far removed from ixa Okay. Um. Who? Well, his ca his catchphrase is "Please return that life to God." <laughs> yeah. 
I, I know I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I'd say that he. I'd say that he, I'd say that when it com that um when it comes to the when it comes to the idea of using a te using like when I, when I look at the when I look at the um it's one it's one of those cases wh where should should modify it, modify Kiwi Kiwi already has a very wide uh wide-based weapon with the mm -hmm. Kiwi uh, Gekirin. Mm -hmm. I mean, technically, with the Kiwi Gekirin, you could catch blades in the center of the ring and around the edges of it. Yeah. But you you could just change it to Kiwi fans. Yeah, it wouldn't the... take much modification either. Yeah, and when it comes to this fan, I'm not, I, I do want to make explicitly clear that this is a Tessin, not a folding fan. A... Yeah. Oh, no, I know what a Tessin is. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Um, not to mention the fact that the Kiwi arms, um, you could argue that the Kiwi slices folding behind the head could look a little bit like a, a, a lion's mane, and you could, you could do a little bit of changing so that the Kiwi rock seed is, is a Kiwi tessin rather than a Kiwi gekirin, and, uh, the head looks more lion-like because you change those clearly Kiwi pieces into more lion's mane-ish looking things. I will admit one of the other one of the other ideas I was thinking of was was the melon, but go with the whole idea of a lion's head that's roaring at the enemy. I can see that. Um, the problem I have with the melon is that is that the melon, the melon, it just gives a shield, and I that would, be, that would be a sign of weakness for them. Yeah, well, and modifying melon that far, like w the modifications we've done so far with. Sparkling orange and fresh, uh, fresh strawberry, um, have just been to modify the weapon they have into something still recognizable as a type of weapon they might have, just slightly different. Mm -hmm. Modifying a shield into a an actual fighting fan is a little little harder to do. I wasn't especially thinking of modifying a shield into a fighting fan. I was just thinking of using the shield just w just with a lion's head on it. That would work too, but again, Bushido then at that point. Mm -hmm. if, if I remember correctly, the lion don't have don't have too many shugenja. No, there's um, there they are, but the key the key thing with their shugenja is is being able being able to draw on the power and wisdom of their ancestors. Um, and ha having a whole having a lot of conversation with ancestral spirits, and I'd even though even though their um, affinity is for water, I'd say the I'd say the focus that they should have is being able to summon a an, being able to summon ancestral spirits. See, and this is this is where I'd want to use uh, energy peach. I mean, we have peach for the Kasari Gama layer. But energy peach, because um, Jimber Arms energy peach uh, did increased um, Kot uh, increased Kota's uh, um, senses, and I know that part of the way that the Shigenja uh, train to be able to contact the ancestral spirits is to increase their senses into the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. So I think energy peach would would make the perfect sense here, mm -hmm. and it would also like the peach is also a, 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 in many different Eastern Asian mysticisms a, a symbol of immortality and spirituality. So I think it fits in. Yeah. Now, um, there are there are two uh, there are two other schools that that could be brought up um, that could be in integrated in some regard. Um, the the Ikoma have the Bard School, which a lot of the Bardic songs are about the hero about the heroic and legendary deeds of Lion's Past, obviously. And the Matsu have the Berserkers. Um, Berserkers. I'd say I'd say I'd say when I'd say when it I'd say when it comes to you know instead instead. Maybe they maybe they should have an maybe they should have an emergency lock seed that's a blood orange. 
<laughs> um, just one, just one that's really powerful. But the problem is, whenever somebody uses it, they tend they tend to go a bit nuts. You, that could be seen as like a hidden lock seed and not one that they would use often. Mm -hmm. I think I think that'd be fine to give to lions. I do I do get the feeling that the, that the lion dis that the lion district would look would look like a would look like a military academy. Not just a military academy. It would look like a it would look very traditional. Um, it, it it would look almost like entirely like a uh, daimyo's um, compound. Except modern day, obviously. Along with the, the military academy being there, um, the rest of it would all be about the the pursuit of Bushido and the pursuit of, of honor. And then, of course, it would probably be another district that's closer to the Imperial District, mm -hmm. since they see themselves as extremely loyal. Yeah. Now, the next is the Mantis Clan. And... Um... I want to I want to point out that because of, because of the fact that we're including the Mantis Clan, we do need to have a bit of ocean frontness when it comes to this particular city, instead uh -huh. of being landlocked. Because you can't do you can't do the Mantis Clan without bringing without bringing up um, seafaring. Yeah, so they'd be our port. Yeah, these are this is our this is our port district. It's. Vi it's very, it's very, do it's very docker that ca that kind of setup. Um, if you've ever seen the port districts of places like, uh, well, hell, even Tokyo technically has a port district. Um, I'd, I get, I get the feel, given, given their background, I get the feeling that the that um, Okinawa would be the would be a good analog for them. Okinawa, mm -hmm. more fishing village looking. Yeah. Um, well, more fishing village, port village looking. I mean, modern modern fishing villages do not look like the old fishing villages. Let's be honest. If we need to use an American example, Maine. <laughs> yeah. All right, that works. Um. Unfortunately, I don't have to drink for that because this isn't the Stephen King drinking game. But the Mantis are are an interesting bunch because they are not one of the original. Um, clans of Rokugan. Originally, Not one of the original great clans. Yes. Originally, there were only there were only there were only seven kami who f who fell that cr that created um that created the gr there were eight kami that fell. Seven of them formed the clans. Yes. The eighth was the first emperor. Yes. And the ninth was Fu, was Fu Lang, who we can I think we can use as our as as our main big bad for this kind of project. Yeah. Um. But the but the Mantis originally were a were an alliance of minor clans that decided to work together, so because they didn't like because they were sick of getting pushed around by their bigger brothers. And this and this this mainly include this mainly includes the Yoritomo, Moshi, and let's see who was this, sorry the the Kitsune, Moshi, Suruchi, and Yoritomo families. Each of them yep. each of them had the, each of them were um, minor clans who who um f who decided to join hands with Yoritomo to form what was known as the Mantis Alliance. Then yep. the then Fu Lang got, got up to his bullshit again, which resulted in the second day of thunder. And because of the, because of their in because of their contributions, it they were elevated to being a great clan. And because of that, they've ha they've always had a bit of a little brother attitude towards the other clans. You know, be, being very eager to prove themselves, but also kind also kind of reckless in that regard as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but they have the adva they have the advantage of basically having Rokugan's navy, which may not seem like much, but um, doesn't it doesn't take but 
People still, have, but there's still plenty of rivers in the Empire. People still need to get around that way. So what? And never underestimate the. Never, it's not a good. De it's not a good idea to fuck around with pe with people who can who have some degree of control over storms. I mean, their motto is "Only a fool stands in the path of a storm." Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I know we've t we've t I know we've talked to when it comes when it comes to this particular one. It's tempting to give them a melee weapon, but and as much as I've as much as I've talked shit about the Sonic Arrow, I do feel like this is the clan that would have it. Because especially since they're considered a bunch of pirates and brigands. And more and more especially because of the Saruchi family and their and the fact that they have the best archers in the empire. To the point where Saruchi style bows in the RPG, you actually have to meet a strength um prerequisite in order to fire them. I remember that. Um because largely because of the fact that Sir, that their founder didn't felt that felt that the only melee weapon that was needed was the wakazashi to the point where he snapped his own katana in half in front of the in front of the court <laughs> um but i i would say i, I would say that that given the fact that they're going to be exclusively our bow, our bow user um cuz the while there while there is the while there is, while there is of course the bushi school when it comes to, actually you know what um there are two there are two weapons that i think i think we should consider one of the one of them is the bow and the other one is the kama Because the yoritomo bushi sc school has the kama as kind of their signature well, I mean, it's also probably because of the fact that Mantis, you know. Mm -hmm. um, um. Go ahead. The the problem there is that to get the Sonic Arrow, usually you it, it's a energy arms item, which we have been holding back for Shugenja. Mm -hmm. And then with the comma, the only one we know of is a fan comma made for a normal peach instead of a uh, energy peach. Yeah, I'd I'd say when I th I'm trying to remember if there if there was a apple lock. None. There there is, but it's a bad guy. It's a movie lock seed. Ah, okay. I um, and its weapon. Let me let me check. Was The sword bringer and apple reflector. Oh yeah, sword and sh so, we can't do s sword and board isn't gonna fit these guys, so that's out. Well, and it's a sword and board with a sword that sheathes inside the shield. Mm -hmm. That one. Let me see here. I know that there are a couple of uh. uh there was also the silver apple lock seed, which gave. What's essentially a silginjo, the pale silver staff. It's just a staff. Mm, no. And then, of course, the black. Where is that? That's the black, which gives the dark dai dai maru. No. <laughs> uh -huh. Um. I do, I do think, I do think that um, the fr when it comes to the when it com I just I just remember didn't didn't X didn't X Aid have the have the stunt of a, have the stunt of a ranged weapon that can split into commas? Did I don't remember? I think. I think Gem. I think Gem had that. Let's let me check real quick. 
Um, geez, where, where's Flutter when I need him? I'm already on there. <laughs> oh, I know Should you're on there, but he lives there. Well, I mean, so you, you think he had Genom had a we, had a weapon like that? I rec Mr. I, rec I recall. Rec Mr. God Dan. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's find. Is... I, that's going to be a pain in the ass to find in his. The Gashikon Sparrow? Yeah. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. so, it's a bow that turns into two sickles. So we don't So we don't have to do two separate lock seeds in this regard. We can just go with this kind of approach. Um... I would, I would, I would say, I would say as far, I would say as far as, as far as the, as far as the fruit, passion fruit, yeah, passion fruit, um, and that that works multiple ways. Well, I'm I'm not only saying passion fruit loxie because of the way the mantis work, uh, but because the the actual colors of the uh, the weapon that. Genom had is are purple and yellow, and mm -hmm. so yeah, I can I can go the, with that. As far as the, the, now, the sh the um the shuge the shugenja end of end of things, they is, have like four different types from the four different families. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, uh, we will. I'm I hate to, I hate to do this to them since it's the Mantis Clan. But I say we give them Kurokage Shin, which is the uh, which is the mass-produced energy driver version. <laughs> Since there are four separate Shugenja, Children of Thunder, the Moshi, the Tsuruchi, and the Yoritomo, um, I feel I feel like in order to properly represent the Mantis, these are the people who should be who should be throwing around storms. <clears throat> yeah, but you could still you could still give them uh, Kurokage Shin. It's it's an energy lock seed. Alternatively, uh, if we wanted to, no, that one's that one probably wouldn't work. The black the black dark lemon energy lock seed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um. Yeah, yeah, the yeah that that doesn't re that doesn't really work. Um. Actually, no. You know what? We could give them um, we could give them melon energy. Yeah. Takator is already a very powerful fighter with a lot of strength behind him. Mm-hmm. Um, then we get to the Phoenix Clan, the voice of the Emperor, <clears throat> who, I'd say, I'd say this, the Phoenix Clan are, de are definitely the most traditional priesty, um, clan of the Empire. Yeah, I'd, I'd they're actually, also very diplomatic. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say that the Phoenix, that the, that their particular area might look might look a little bit um a little bit a little bit Vatican y in ter in terms of being the most reli the most religious district or the most the most spiritual district. Well then it'd be it, then you're saying it's going to look like uh You know what fuck it it looks like it looks like the voodoo set district of the big easy. No, um hold on. Let me let me let me find the the, the... Specific Tokyo district. I'm taught. I'm thinking about. There's a a very, very famous, super famous uh, shrine district in Tokyo. But yeah, with this particular area, I see shrines for days. Yeah. Um. Hold 
There's a very specific one that I see in... Ah, yes, this shrine. Nezu Shrine, I believe it's called. The one with all the long gates that you see in a lot of different... Uh, um, I mean, we see Forze go through these gates a bunch. Mm-hmm. Um... But yeah, the, the, there's a there's a very specific shrine district I always forget the name of. Or is it Fushimi? Oh, no, Fushimi and Ori's in, in uh, Kyoto. Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, it essentially looks like the shrine districts of Japan. Mm-hmm. And Because be, now, when it comes to the, when it comes to their lock seeds, we have the we the main families we have on that front are the are the um the she, the Shiba and the Isawa schools. The yeah she, the the, the Shiba, illusionist yeah the Shiba very are very mu- very much leaning towards. You, towards I believe I believe they prioritize the um, Naginata. I think so. Mm-hmm. But the Shiba are also, you know, tricksy. A little more tricksy than the Iwata. A little less uh, s- straightforward. Well, they're especially cons- they're considered warrior scholars. Yeah. <clears throat> and well, well, the whole of the Phoenix Clan are ab- are able to use Void more than more than others, but I I would I would say that um like uh, with some of their ad- I I do want to keep the ho- the whole idea of them uh, of them using um some some sort of some sort of spear and I de- and um. I keep thinking of a of a banana arms lock seed that's more gr- that's more green than that's more green than um, yellow. <laughs> Do you want to give them banana? Yeah, um, it's just instead instead of instead of the lance that we that we saw with Baron, it's it's more of a it's more of a naginata. Okay. Um, banana spear. Mm-hmm. Now, when it comes to when it comes to the Isawa, because of the I'd say because of the fact that the, this would be the only energy lock seed that's element affiliation is void, and because of because of that, I'd I'd have it that they um, this particular one can use can use all can use any other element, mm-hmm. but but it's it but it's where it's where it's really at its best is illu- is illusions. Yeah. So in this case, would you want to use uh, dark e- dark lemon lemon energy then? Yeah. Okay. Um, the our our hypothetical um common writer, I be- I believe it was Shiba who founded the clan. Uh, I think so. Mm-hmm. Let me check. Um, Kami Shiba, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, but I'd, I'd say that I'd say that this is the one that that um would do would do would do the old <clears throat> would do the old gag of of um teleporting to disappear and doing a whole lot of doing a whole lot of teleportation in fights, you know. In other words, a more interesting version of Odin. <laughs> Um, now when it comes to, when it come, so I think that I had thought, I had, I had forgotten about the Agasha Shugenjas, but I'd say that, I'd say, I'd say that's, st- I'd say that still fits within this kind of setup. I would, I would say that, um, in civilian, in civilian clothes, the, um, 
the our our, our hypothetical common writer Sheba would would um would look would look like a would look like a shrine priest or priestess. Uh huh. You know the <clears throat> as opposed to as opposed to our hypothetical um our hypothetical Togashi who would probably look more who would probably look more akin to a Buddhist monk. Just covered in tattoos. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, then we get to my favorite paradox, the Scorpion Clan. Scorpion Clan. An official clan, too, because they were founded by Akami. Mm -hmm. much, to the, much to the chagrin of, well, everybody. Because the Scorpions are assholes. Well... <sighs> The funny thing, the the reason why I call them my favorite paradox is, they are liars, cheaters, and thieves, and yet are fanatically loyal. Well, and it all has to do with the fact that the monk Shinsei told Bayushi the tale of the scorpion and the frog, or at least a modified version of it, which they which they use sensed as their words. I can swim. Mm -hmm. And app apparently, that's also the reason why Bi why Bayushi established the tradition of scorpions wearing masks. Yeah. Um. Now, when it comes to when it comes to these, the main thing that the scorpions are known for is their shinobi. Don't call them ninjas unless you want to get ki unless you want to get killed in your sleep. Also, welcome Doku, who said he was early two hours early, and then still shows up late in gay. Yeah, I, yeah, I was, and uh, I, I had something come up. I had to take care of it. So it's all good, Doku. We 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 love you. Anyway, you mind catching him up? Okay, so Doku, to run us down, uh, we're doing the combination of Common uh, Rider Gaim, Legend of the Five Rings. We're, ma we're matching lock seeds from Common Rider Gaim and, and modifying some of them in any time we need to. To the cl greater clans, or the, the, great, the nine great clans of, of Legend of the Five Rings, as well as some of the Imperial families we'll get to later. Mm -hmm. Both giving them a single normal lock seed for their exemplar bushi side and a single energy lock seed for their exemplar um, shugenja side. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. far, yeah. <laughs> so far, uh, we've gone through the Crab Crane, Dragon, Lion, Mantis, and Phoenix Clan. We are on the Scorpion Clan now. Yep. Um, I don't know how much I'm actually going to be able to help you guys out with this one. I have I any any look as as I told you before. <laughs> as long as you try, as long as you make an attempt, that's good enough for me. I'll do my best. It, I was never a huge Common Rider fan, to be honest, and it has been a fair. I'm guessing you're talking Legend of the Five Rings. Yes. Yeah. It has been a very long time since I've read that book, but we're not. We said Legend I, I, of the Five I, Rings, not Book of Five Rings. Legend oh. of the Five Rings, the tabletop game, sir. Oh, wow. Yeah, I actually never played that one. Sounds like you need to drink some more. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll do my best to help, but I well, don't know if I'm going to be much help. That's fine. We're giving a small rundown of each clan as we go. And then equating it to lock seeds as we go. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, the scorp the when it comes to describing the Scorpion Clan's district, um, how how do we do? The tricky part is the whole the whole the whole hidden secrets everywhere. We already kind of did that with the dragon. How do we do that with the with the scorpion? With how do we do something similar without um, overlapping? Easy. The uh, Scorpion District is going to be a normal residential district, but it's not so normal. It looks normal, 
Everybody can walk through it. It's They're never going to know it's the Scorpion District unless they know the Scorpion already live there. And all the secrets, well, they're hidden. But you can go find them by going inside these places if you feel like almost dying. So things going on in the background. Yeah, this, this normal district is probably going to have normal-looking businesses, normal-looking houses, normal-looking police stations, normal-looking, uh, you know... Everything's going to look like what you would expect if you're just a normal citizen. Mm -hmm. But for any of the Bushi of other clans who are in the know, or Shigenja of other clans who are in the know, they know to walk through this district a little more cautiously. And by a little more cautiously, that might mean weapons fucking drawn. So every citizen has a mask, and every mask has two faces. One hand shown, one hand concealed. Well, a big thing with the Scorpion Clan is that all of all of their samurai whether whether they be where they be courtier bushi or shugenja they all wear masks to honor their kami mm -hmm. because their kami also wore a mask granted his mask was just tearing off a part of his sleeve and and improvising but it still counts yep well so, again one hand shown one hand concealed I mean, they are called the underhand of the Emperor in, in Legend of Five Rings, so... Yeah. See, I didn't even know that, but... <laughs> if it's... No. Um, so I think the, the best way to hide things is in plain sight. Mm -hmm. They would know this. Now, everybody's going to know who the Scorpion Bushi are, because all of the Scorpion... Or all of the Scorpion Samurai in general are, because mm -hmm. all of the Scorpion Samurai are going to be wearing masks. Um, and in fact... No scorpion samurai would ever be caught without their mask. And, and you should know the significance of what I'm about to say next, Toku. To them, being caught without their mask is as bad as being caught without their Daisho sword pair. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now yeah. you get it. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, that's... Uh... <laughs> Calling it an obligation would sound uh, like downplaying. And give, given this, I feel that our common writer Bayushi um, is very much. Le we this is the point where we very much have to lean into the into the shinobi aesthetic. And um, as I mentioned before, never call them ninja because that's a bit that is a very sore spot for them. They'll kill you in your sleep. Yeah, or you, or you'll just find yourself dis um, disappearing. Um, yeah. We get, we gonna give them we gonna give them the normal Ichigo arms, or did we want to give them the fan peach arms? I'm actually the peach. I'm actually going with that because I'd like to slightly modify that so that they have a um, either a Kusari Gama or a Manriki Kusari. Okay. Okay. Okay, Manriki Kusari. That is, that is nice. Thank you, Monk, for for bringing up something like that. Uh, uh, so for people who aren't aware of what the Manriki Kusari is, it's basically just a chain with weights at both ends. Mm -hmm. The Kusari Gama is a is. H is a chain with one one end having a comma and the other end having a weight. Yep. The Manriki That's why it's... Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Kusari gama, gama being comma with a breathed syllable. Yeah. Just like Manriki Kusari. Mm -hmm. Um, God, that is a name I hadn't heard in ages, Monk. Ages. But, uh, the, the... I think I think that could I think they, that could work. You could just probably it would be dependent on um it, you could probably just change it. Like it starts out as a manriki and one weight is bigger than the other, like just you know slightly what, so. You know what fuck it. Have have that have that weight be attachable to the um Muso saber. <laughs> <laughs> that that could work too. Make one weight look like the socket at the end of the Musou saber, mm -hmm. and then uh, the other just be a normal like teardrop weight. Yeah. And then if when they want to go kusa, 
This would not be Kusari Gama at this point. This would be Kusari Gatana, which is insane, but is actually something that happened at least once in history. Um, and the, and thus we ha and thus we have we have a we we at the very least have have um. Plus, we have something to work with on that front. Plus, um, I like ha I like having insane, crazy ass weaponry. Yes, want, we all do. If I wanted, if I w look, I'll put it this way: if I wanted realism, I'd go, I'd go right for Hollywood or Netflix. Yes. Take your pick, which is worse. Yes. Um, I don't want. Them. That's why I said the word yes. They're both bad. Um, but I get the feeling that I get the feeling that um. Now, since since we're going full ninja with this, there there a lot. I'd say a lot of the techniques would be would be on would be on disabling, um, trying especially trying to pick a fight with with a with Bioshi in their own district. There are more there are more traps than a whorehouse in Thailand. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't or, you mean more traps than a modeling show in Thailand these days? Can I root for the nuke? <laughs> um, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna say either that or a um a stoleful cosplay contest at any convention. Hate you. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. <laughs> um. Don't don't worry, Doku. You get to you get to suffer with the rest of us. I don't want to. <laughs> but. That that was the reason why that was the reason why why I was th why I was thinking that because, um, of course you can ha of course you can have the whole the whole thing of of rap of wrapping somebody up, of wrapping somebody up or gags or classic gags like the fo like the false floors that kind yeah. that kind of stuff false false floors um do um somebody somebody <laughs> chasing after them going into the room that has an explosion t that has an explosion tag or a smoke bomb in there. Or um or the rotating walls. Yeah, and and right. of course and of course, the um, I, I the age the age old favorite. You just got logged. <laughs> you know, you, somebody, Substitution. Somebody thinks that they got you, but nope, that was just, nope, that was just a straw doll, you idiot. Kawari mi no jutsu. Like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna lean if I'm gonna lean into this be this being our shinobi in aesthetic we gotta we gotta lean all in on it which is why i say you make it look like a normal residential district with all the hidden bullshit mm -hmm. of course then we have our soshi shugenja shugenja the soshi are have an have an air of have an air affinity and their main their big thing is the fact is stealth casting. Now they they can ca they are the best at casting spells without making it obvious that they're casting spells. Yeah. With more and they also they also have shadow magic, the Tajina. Yeah. So given that given that, I I would I would say that um. Their that their particular spell casting is is more a case of. One where you never see the build up. Like when anybody else who's casting, it is very obvious. You see you see the energy aura, you see you see elements start to start to move about because because of the way Shugenja magic works. And yeah. that and then you see the effect. With them, you only see the effect. So instead of them ca them calling up the aura and see and seeing the seeing the um conflagration of of energy you just see a you just see a fireball show up out of nowhere. I prob I probably have it that they cast spe that that fireball doesn't come from them directly, but from nearby shadows. Or just or just ne or just anything nearby that's not that's not directly from them. So you never know where you never know where that's where what angle you have to block from. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. I it, I know it's tempting to give to give them illusion, but um, we already did we already did that with another clan. Yeah. Since the 
a lot of the Phoenix Clan's abilities are all are all about the void and moving between that to move into the other elements. So yeah, they'd be the ones um, having illusion bullshit. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to make a new energy lock seed for this one. Another another new energy lock seed. Yeah. Um. But we should up it from a normal lock seed that's already existent because there are plenty of normal locks. There isn't an energy strawberry lock seed. So you're thinking and of stra you're thinking of um, strawberry energy. Yep, and strawberry strawberry energy lock seed. Um, since we're going you know full ham into shinobis, mm -hmm. we've we've already got a. Uh, someone else with a normal strawberry lock seed, so we give them shinobi, the the, the strawberry energy lock seed mm -hmm. for their shinobi powers with their shigenja. Yep. Um, I also get the feeling that a that a hypothetical um, a a hypothetical common writer Bayushi would be the person who know who um knows all of your dirty laundry, or at least everyone thinks that he does. The only people um, who know better are the dragons, but that's because the dragons are away from everybody else. When you describe this, for some reason, I just keep getting the picture of long sleeves and smiling faces. <laughs> I knew someone was going to pick up on that. But yeah, it, it is that sort of like, oh, I have nothing nefarious going on. You don't have to worry about anything. Buy, buy my five dollar uh, karage. Yeah. Um. Um. Here's a here's here's a picture of Bayushi in council, mm -hmm. made by a uh, Steve Argyle, who who is awesome. Um. <laughs> also, okay. I, sh I should long sleeves and smiling faces. I should note that in um in fourth edition it's. In 3rd edition, the Shoshiro school was referred to as the Shinobi school. In 4th edition, they changed it to Infiltrator. Um, which I, I know some people cried foul about that bit of a name change, but to be honest, it makes a bit more sense. And because of that, I'd also, should we also have it that, that, um, ba that Bayushi is the, is the classic Master of Disguise? Yes. <laughs> absolutely. So... No one knows who Common Rider Bayushi is. You have to suspect every Scorpion clan member. Or should we go? Should we go as far as to say that that he is Alf, that he is the equivalent of Alpharius and Omegon, where ev every member of the Alpha Legion believes that they are one that they are Alpharius or Omegon? Yes. Yeah, I can I can go with that. Um. It'd also be a good way to get to make everybody else paranoid about them. Um, then we get then we get to the Unicorn Clan, which is the oddest duck among the among the clans, because the, that what that isn't their original name. Their original name <clears throat> is the Kirin Clan. Yes, and. There's oh, there's also the there's also the fact that um, one of their families was originally the Otaku family, later ch later retitled the Utaku for obvious reasons. See, as a as a side note to anyone who doesn't understand the uh, the history of the word Otaku, um, most yeah. people only know the common usage of today, which is that it means a well over obsessed fan, basically. Stands. To the point beyond stands, um, otaku. The 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 implication is that you are so over obsessed to the point that you that you neglect your common responsibility, mm -hmm. and that's that's never good, especially not in Japanese society. But the word otaku originally was just a second person pronoun. It was the word you. Or they, actually, I think it was a third-person pronoun as well. Um, it was a weird, semi-formal way of saying it, but also slightly disdainful, kind of like saying omae or teme. Mm -hmm. So, 
it eventually just became a word that means you stupid obsessed person. Yeah, pretty pretty much, and that br that brings uh, that brings us to the to the now when it comes to, now um I'd like to I'd like to give a bit of background when it comes to the unicorn clan just to make clear why why they're the odd ducks e even compared to say the mantis they were they were <clears throat> now as I recall um Iuchi was was the f um Iuchi was the fa was the founder no 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 it wasn't Iuchi it was um Shinjo it was Shinjo yes it's Shinjo was she was she was the fa she was the founder um after the f after the first day of thunder when Fu Lang decided to get decided to get up to his bullshit because everybody held a tournament and he wasn't invited so make your maleficent jokes here um and it, and of course it's kind of hard to invite somebody when they when they're in hell yeah but, but um the first when the first day of thunder was when Shinsei had br had brought in a representative from each of the gr each of the great clans to contend ag to contend against Fu Lang. And after th after that went down, Shinjo opt decided to decided to take her clan and leave the burgeoning empire to try and learn if there were any other potential threats in this world that they had fallen into. And she ended up she ended up wandering all all of all over the greater world, especially in the Burning Sands, which is basically Roku got the um, L five R equivalent to the to um to old Baghdad and the, and the Fertile Crescent. But eventually, eventually her clan came back about a thousand years later, I'd say. And was very and was very different because you had mixes of the of the Japanese XP that w that there was originally, along and with the... along with some aspects of Mongols, and some, some, and some aspects, aspects of um of um Chinese, some aspects of Mongols, mm -hmm. <laughs> considering that they're constantly shown mounted i'd say a lot of mongol influence well let's not forget that that um the that the root that the daimyo is also known as the khan <laughs> yeah yeah but they use scimitars they wore fur even shook hands But it's for but because because of that, I would actually argue that the design the design of a common writer Shinyo should look a little bit more like um, Ryugen. Um, because of the China thing, I'd say I'd say it would be I'd say it would be a close start at the very least. Hmm. I don't know. I was kind of uh, tempted to just throw Bravo at it. How about a little <laughs> column A and a little column B? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> How? I don't know. You're the mastermind here, not me. I don't. Oh my gosh. Um. I think we lost Doku. <laughs> I think oh. he died. No, um, no, he's not dead. He's just drunk. That's also true. Uh, I, I was ki I was kidding with I was kidding with that. Um, I do th I do think that whatever design a common writer Shinjo would have, we need to have so we need to have some degree of fur. Okay. Um, let me pull some stuff. Uh let me but take a, more, a look at at these. But more impor more importantly, 
um, how do you envision their district? How do you envision the, sh the Unicorn District to look like? Unicorn District is going to be on... Um, it's going to be near whichever gate of the... Uh, <clears throat> of the city is closest to going inland towards mm -hmm. foreign influences. Yeah. It's also going to be the district that guards that gate because threats from that area, and they mm -hmm. came from that area. Um, it's going to be a pastiche of what the city has, well, at least the common elements of the city, and any foreign trade elements that are coming in. So it's going to look a lot like um, many bazaar do in, you know, I can, I can go with that. So because of that, you've got you've got a, this would be an ex, this would be an excuse to di to use different types of languages in in the place and have a have a very have a very biz, have a very um bizarre mar marketplace or trading town kind of vibe. Yes, very very much. Um, and I know I know it might seem odd to have these kind of mini town like approaches with each of these districts, but. I'm drawing. A, I'm drawing on a couple of things to help justify this. One, um, the the Rokugan city in this regard is not a is not a small town. I'd say it's I'd say it's fucking massive. Um, I'd say I'd say I'd say size wise, it would prop it would probably be about about the about the size of. Um, of se of se of several of several large cities, I was gonna I was gonna say about I was gonna say about this about the size of the entirety of Manhattan Island, maybe larger than that even. I could see that. Um, I was gonna I was gonna say it's about the size of something like Mega City One, but that, well, that's too big. Yeah, because that's bigger than the rest of the city we've already established. Mega City One ha covers. I'd say about eighty percent of the East Coast. Um, and he, the other, the other bit, the other bit of inspiration that I'm using as a as a point of reference is the various districts and their identities in Night City and the Cyberpunk games. Yeah. Which each of each of them is a each of each of those districts is a mini town into unto themselves. Um, and I, I remember I remember that um Pondsmith had said hit that um he cre he used sim I think he said he used Sim City to create to create night to create his idea of Night City, and his inspiration for that design was theme parks, which does make sense. Uh -huh. You've got you've got different well themes when, in a given park. If you go to, you'll have you'll have you'll have different sub areas. If you go if say you go to Disneyland or Universal Studios. Um. And because because of because of that, I'd say. I'd say the the setup that we the setup that we should have. That within within um the sh within the unicorn district is. I I keep I keep trying to avoid saying Maz Eisley, but it's Maz Eisley. <laughs> I can't. Well, I, can't av I can't avoid it. Or if we wanted to go with something that isn't Maz Eisley but is just as uh chaotic. Mm -hmm. Um. The main city of Outworld during MKXL. Oh yeah, the la the the last good the last good MK. Because mm -hmm. I know it's I know now that they've said that they're that they're that they're um not doing any more work on MK11. Um, I know that a twelve is going to be inevitable, but I don't have high hopes it's going to be good. And I know some people. I know some people will bring up the outfit change. Me, that this is another me, case of me bitching about the outfit changes. No, that's no. You'd wi you'd wish that that was the beginning and end of my complaint because it doesn't. Rec because it's easier. It's easier for to counter me about that than it is about the mechanics. Uh -huh. Um. 
don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to delve too much into this and I know I know that some people are going to defend it a bit much but the problem that the problem that I had with MK11 was the whole fatal blow thing making it very difficult to have comebacks which I think is the reason why people what we're watching less on Evo because once somebody already had a lead, it was hard. It was hard to. It was hard. It was hard to. Come, it was hard to come back from be, from behind on that. But again, rails. Yes. Now, when it comes to that, when it comes to this, when it comes to this um, setup, um, I d I do get I do get the feeling that. That um, there's pro that there's probably a whole lot of, a whole lot of um, bi a whole lot of bikers going up, going up and d going up and down this particular um district. Um. If you if you want to have it that some of them go some of them go out on expeditions outside outside of the city at from time to time, that can be one of those things that is talked about but is never shown. Like you might have somebody talk you might have somebody in a tavern talking up talking up there. What they what they saw outside what they saw outside on one of their on one of their trips with the, with a gang. Uh -huh. But obvious obviously it's I know I know there's always the argument of sh of show don't tell but because but this is one of the, I think this is a suitable exception because we're trying to keep everything within the city. <clears throat> yeah. Now, when it com now when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to the set the set the setup of our um sh of our Shinyo, um, we can't using a Naginata wouldn't wouldn't work. Um, we already we already have that we already have that. More or less covered, but I'd say I'd say using a using a scimitar using a scimitar would work. Um, I, I forget the writer's name, but but the call sign whenever he transformed was Mister Dangerous. I feel like we can use that lock seed. That's uh, I'm pretty sure that's Durian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty sure. Um. I do get the feeling that every th that when it comes to when it comes to our our common rider Shinjo, should we should we have it that they always arrive on horseback or a motorcycle? Probably a motorcycle. On motorcycle, all things considered. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, it's it's Durian Arms, Mister Dangerous. Yep. It's just I'd say it's, it's just that instead of instead of the um. Gladius clubs that we that we saw in that case, it's it's a scimitar. Well, I mean, it'd be really easy to just change it to two scimitar duri from from the duri noko to duri simi to mm -hmm. be durian scimitars. Yeah, um, and that that can work. Maybe we don't even really have to change much of anything. Mm -hmm. No, the the um. The e the Iuchi sh now when it comes to the shugenjas, um, mm. they their their big their big th their big thing is we can't really give them wind we can't really go with um, wind manipulation because we already gave that to the cr the crane. Um, well, the the Iuchi shugenja are. Um, water affinity, but the real thing is that their magic is not based on the same type of magic as the rest of the Rokugani. Yeah. It's name magic. Except, and that, if we go with that route, then there's the question of how do, how do we, how do we, in, how do we integrate name magic into, into this, into this kind of thing? Because having it be some form of stealth casting is some, is something that wouldn't re that wouldn't really fit. 
Well, this is their magic is basically magic items. Mm-hmm. Um, like, for example, Meishoto can basically make any spell, and it attaches it to an item. But the more complex spells couldn't be created unless the Meishoto practitioner is adept in the spell's element. Mm-hmm. Um, and w- and and without the trinket, a Meishoto can't actually cast magic. Yeah, I would I would I would say that 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 they pro they. Their their particular approach is is probably is probably having having a bunch of tr- having a bunch of trinkets and like that they that they u- that they use as f- that they use as actual focuses. Mm-hmm. Um. Probably probably having it that elemental spirits go in go into the focus and then go out as spells. Um. Um. <laughs> And the the spells on the trinkets were couldn't be modified. They were cast at the most basic level. Yeah. So so I'd I'd say I'd say the I'd say the approach that they, that they have is they is they ha, they they have a ar, they have an arsenal of trinkets that they can't they they aren't going to be as flashy as as the other shugenja. Mm-hmm. But they but they are but they More are versatile. reliable. They, they yeah. are reliable and they're f- and far more versatile. Um, I'd s- and I'd say I'd say that I'd say that's the best way to make them work because that because they're very much a, they're very much a tricky affair. Um, and I have I haven't covered gender with a lot of these, but I do feel like the Shinjo um, writer should be should be a woman because of the um, Utaku battle maidens. That and the fact that uh, the actual Shinjo in L five R was a was a very uh, very overprotective sister. Yep. <laughs> now, now I know that I know that the sco- now what I'm tr- what I'm trying to find is the. Sco- is the is the um sp- is the spider clan in my book? Um, next, what am I, what am I thinking? There's there's an index. <laughs> Dumbass. Let's see. S S. Page two ele- Page two eleven. Okay, and it's the book of so the spider clan. Um, yes, I would pr- I would probably have again the I- the idea that I have with the spider clan in this regard is that they is that they are they are um they are the they are the mo- they have the most dubious allegiance. Their their abilities are cl- their abilities are clearly tied to the Shadowlands, but. Well, they swore fealty to Daigotsu, who is the master of the Shadowlands. A, ma- I do want to keep the idea that he is a master in exile. Um. And. But I, but I'd also, I'd also like to go with the idea that he is trying to, he is trying to, inter- he is trying to integrate, to in- to integrate himself into the into the into the society he finds himself in. It's just that nobody trusts him. Uh-huh. You know, for good reason because he has stirred up his fair his fair amount of shit. Also, also as a bit of an aside, if I ever get the chance, I would love to cosplay as Daigotsu. <laughs> is it the mask? Yes, yes, it is. But when. In fact, there, in fact, there was an old character in my dot hack days that wore that I that I had that um, I had artwork of that was wearing that mask. And ever and because but because of the big amount of, of white hair, everybody kept confusing him with Jiraiya. Huh. Um, 
Look, if I'm going to get confused with Jiraiya, I'd rather get confused with the weird-ass Metal Heroes version of him. Or the, or the Black Kaku Ranger. Yeah. But that's just me, and... Yeah, I, I not too long ago I looked I looked back and watched um what I could what I could find of Jiraiya. That series was weird. Even by Metal Hero standards, that's I feel like I feel like Metal Heroes should is a sub is a subject on its own because of how 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 wildly things changed. Yeah. Um but with the with with the spider with the spider clan, I do want to go with the idea that they they are that no one re no one really knows what side they're actually on. There's the assumption that because he's that because Daigotsu is the Lord of Shadows, that he that he is that he is on the that he is on the side of the Shadowlands, but the Oni don't like him either. Um, you know, kind of, kind of go with the idea of him, of him, of him wanting to get, wanting to get his throne back, and not, and has to deal with, well, being in, being in the city. But I'd say, I'd, I'd say, bec I'd say because of that, um, a common rider Daigotsu would be the mo would be the most um hellish looking. Of of the writers we've done so far, we're thinking Ryuk and Yomi then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Plus, it's a gun, which is something that uh, I'd, that no one else has. And in, instead, instead of just using the gun like Michi, because it's always Michi's fault, um, I'd say he, I'd the the fight the. Method of fighting I see for a common rider Daigotsu is not too far removed from Nobunaga in Sengoku Basara. You know, so sword and gun. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that in, in Nobunaga's case in that game he was he was using a shotgun, and in some cases, especially in the anime, his cape as a weapon, or especially in the anime, in a, um, his voice as a weapon because. <laughs> Because because it's because it's Wakamoto, <laughs> his whose whose voice whose voice is enough to. Well, I'll put it this way: um, when he was when he was voicing when he was practicing his cell voice, um, some of the, some of the ki some of the kids in his neighborhood overheard him talking and thought and thought cell was in the was thought cell was in the house. Yep. But when it, whenever it comes whenever it comes to grand villain voices, he's always the guy to call on. That's very true. Mm -hmm. But when it but when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to a common writer Daigotsu, um, we're definitely go we it's definitely the whole black armor thing. I'd say he's the only one of these writers who does not have a district. Well, yeah, because the Shadowlands are not a district, and the spiders, even after becoming a great clan, went and opened the spider's web in the forest. Yeah. So i i would I would say that instead instead of that, he just has he just has agents and the like all all over the city. Yeah. Um, but in ter in terms of where the actual Daigotsu is. That is a that is a very closely guarded secret. Which, if I want to go for maximum irony, I could easily have him hide in hiding under underground the underground the um the imp the imperial territories. But I'd but I'd say I'd say instead he just he just ha there's a ma there's a underground network in this in the city and he goes and and he comes and goes into those areas. So he's the florist of Psy. <laughs> I suppose, um, and beca because of because of that, um, when it there's no there's no real signature weapon when it comes to the Daigotsu Bushi school. Their main mm -hmm. their main gimmick is being able to weaponize Shadowlands taint. Yeah. 
I would I would say I would say because I would say because of that. Um, but we already covered that with the whole with the whole gun. But I'd I'd say whenever he whenever he shows up, there's definitely a aura in the area. Yeah. You know the you know the whole. The whole the whole killing intent cliche that cliche that in anime. Mm-hmm. Go, I know go, what you're talking about. Go with that if we if we need to have if we need to have black energy going all over the place and and Kansen showing up instead instead of Kami, we can go we can go with that as well. But basically, when he shows up, things are about things are about to go south. Um. And I w- and because of that, I would I would say. Yeah, go, in, I'm de- I'm debating about whether or not it should be in the gun a la Ryu again, or if or if we sh- or if we should go with green grapes and give him a shotgun. I mean, I, I the reason I was saying uh, the Yomots Hegedi is because it means the hell fruit technically, mm-hmm. and. I think uh, I think just keeping that would be good. You could still make it a shotgun. You can make it anything you want, as long as it's a gun. Mm-hmm. You can make it a gun that transforms. Um, as temp- as tempting as it is to bring up to bring up the Fize blaster, nah, I I want to keep the I want to keep the um, Nobunaga motif here. Yeah, so just make it a a gun where he can. Use the Musou saber alongside, you know, a pistol or a shotgun. Yeah, I'm I'm leaning I'm leaning shotgun because while sh- while the la- the noise of a shotgun is certainly going to get people's attention. Okay. Because I want I I want to I want to kind of lean into the into the Black Knight or Dar- or Darth Vader archetype of this is somebody who scares the piss out of people before he even starts fighting. Yeah. Um. Even to a certain extent, the terror Dopant, where where even where people found Ryube scary, even when he wasn't transformed. Yeah, because of how much the uh, Gaia memory had affected him. Which, given Ryube's appearance, is a bit amusing because he looks like a Japanese Elton John. You know I'm right. Mm-hmm. Um. Now, when it comes to the ch- when it comes to, I don't. I'd also say when it comes when it comes to the energy, this is where we can have a representation of Maho of blood magic. Um. Did we? And I was I was gonna use the blood orange in this case, but we already did. But we already did that. Well, we did the normal blood orange, not an energy blood orange. Yeah, I'd I'd say I'd say this would be blood orange energy. Yep. Okay, blood orange energy lock seed it is. Mm-hmm. But the other th- the other thing that the other thing that I'm th- that I'm thinking of is I I loved the I loved the imagery of the of the spider clan monks. I do I. I'm te- I'm tempted to I'm tempted to keep something like that or there are or there are certain there are certain oni that there are certain oni that work for Daigotsu as his as his right as his right hands who mm-hmm. might sh- who might show who might show up to ba- who might show up to bail out one of the other riders and then dis- and then disappear. Yeah. Um the other thing that 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 comes to mind is do you remember the elephant undead in Blade? And how he had yes. his attitude of "I hate, I hate to fight," despite the yeah. fact that he was a fucking wrecking ball at any time he did. Yes, I feel like Daigotsu should ha- should have a should have a similar motif. He do- he um he is not I- he is not interested in fighting, not because of the whole "oh you're not you're not a challenge," but more of he j- it. It's just it's just not it's just not his priority. Yeah. He has other things he has to worry about. Mm-hmm. So anytime that he, anytime that he's in a position where he, where he feels like fighting, it's a case of really doing this shit again. 
You guys got to get in my way while I'm trying to do important shit. Fine. Um. Now when it now when it comes to the imperial families, I feel like I feel like there's I feel like um their particular setup should be the Kachidoki and Kiwami arms. Mm -hmm. Um. And I, I I will I will admit I have I have a fondness for the overall kit of the Kachidoki arms. Cuz you know you have you have the DJ gun, you have you ha have the flags. And it ju it just co it just comes off like this is this is the heavy this is the heavy equipment setup. Mhm. Mm um and now let me let me dig. Let me dig. So, page two twenty-seven. So let me. Two twenty. So. There are three. There are three imperial. Now, when it comes to when it comes to the emperor itself, I'm pr we can probably go, we can probably go with the fact that emperor is just a title to the person who basically runs the town, runs the uh, entire city. Yeah, he's our our, our city official, our city governor of some sort. Mm -hmm. Um, should we go with should we go with Hante, Totori, or Iweko? For our ruler? Yeah. Well, if Daigotsu is around, and we've established that he is, the Hante have already fallen. Yeah, they're wiped out. He's the last Hante. Mm -hmm. So that le that le so that brings the question of should we go Totori or Iweko? Um. Uh, let me check something real quick. If we go, if we go with, if we go with Iweko, we can have the we we can have a magic resurgence, especially since we're using the spiders. If we go with Totori, we can le we c that could be used as a lead in to to doing a arc equivalent to the Four Winds um conflict. Yeah, but again. 1170 um, in the original timeline, which is also when the Spider Clan was actually given great clan status, or what was almost given great clan status, was when Daigotsu came out to the actual Empire. Um, is around the same time that the Celestial Heavens considered the, Toto the Toturi family defunct. Because of Daigotsu's um, presence, we really only have the choice to go with the Ueko family. As the current imperial family. Yeah, that that's that said, I um, I could I could easily I could easily see a bit of a bit of an arc where you have four, where you have four ca four candidates for um emperor. Each of each of them each of them trying to curry favor with the with the clans and with their with their riders. Mm hmm. Um. Especially, especially since the the em the emperor the um no one people rarely people rarely would ever see the emperor. Um, yeah, you're usually dealing with the imperial vassal families. Mm -hmm. And instead, in I would say I would I would say when it comes to this, a common writer Iweko. Um, get is get is getting the Kiwami arms. Well, I wouldn't call it Common Rider Iweko, um, because the family is the emperor or the empire's family, the ruling empire. I I rather think that the Kiwami arms go to Common Rider Rokugan, the the Common Rider that represents the city. I can I can go with that. Um, 
and then the kachi doki stuff goes to like their their best retainers yeah in this in this case those would be common writers mia otomo and seppu yes those three will have kachi doki arms and of course common writer rokugan has kiwami arms mm -hmm. um and of course of course, in this case, we may have just made because of because of the whole elementalism stuff. We may have just made Kiwami arms even more OP than it already is. Um, I mean, it's kind of supposed to be the top arms of all top arms. Its name Kiwami means zenith or maximum, mm -hmm. or extreme, however you want to look at it. I choose to um, go with I choose to go with zen I choose to go with zenith because. It would it would certainly it would certainly fit, especially since the whole because of the fruit Jesus memes that came that came out afterwards, and the and the fact that one of the one of the better bits of fan art what I can simply describe as so as I pray, unlimited fruit works. <laughs> uh, melon is my bone and. And orange is my blood. <laughs> yeah, you... uh... I am the I am the I am the fruit of my basket. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> fruits basket. Thank you, Kiwami Arms. Um, as an as an aside, those kind of final forms make tr make trying to do a common writer TRPG very difficult to balance, since. If you look at a lot of, with a few exceptions, if you look at a lot of final forms, it's really a case of, um, a of you of all the powers that you've had up to this point, you can now use at once. Which is what Kiwami Arms did. Yeah. <laughs> which it which, in a story like in a story like that, makes sense. Trying to. Forze that, did that. Mm -hmm. Um. Kiva did that. I'd I'd say in zero one that particular role was Rampage Gatling. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's it's not it's it's something that's not ex it's not extremely commonplace, but it's commonplace enough. Um. But the the problem the problem is trying to ba trying to balance that kind of thing for a party. Which is why, which is why I've said for the longest time that trying to do a common writer RPG is more is a lot more difficult than it might appear. And actually, I'd, actually, I'm a, I'm of the opinion that the e the um the easiest tokusatsu's to adapt into an RPG form are um are Ultraman and Garo. Ultraman and Garo? I can see Garo because everybody has the same powers. Um, and to and to and um, I'd I'd say early metal heroes. Okay, yeah, I, I was gonna say if you just mean metal heroes, bl carte blanche, not so much. Um, <laughs> it it ultimately depends on. That's why I said early when it was when you were still doing the very. That very police-themed approach. Yeah, the space sheriffs and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. In fact, just the first three, sp just the first three space sheriffs. You can, you could, pro you could probably run a campaign just with those. You can. Chrome Squad proved it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I walked into that. Um, also, f also, when it comes to the Chroma Squad game, fuck you, Saban. Is what... Why are we saying "fuck you, Saban" to them about that? Um, they they tr um, they had they had is they had issues with the game saying it was the game saying it was inspired by Power Rangers. Almost got almost got a bit Sue happy. Hmm. Good um, thing they didn't because that game is fantastic. Yes, but getting getting back getting back on track. Yeah. Um, when it comes to when it comes to trying to trying to build this kind of thing into a into a series, a lot of a lot of times, it's I'd say with only I'd say with only a couple exceptions, the pro, the primary writer is somebody who's outside of this kind of outside of this kind of 
um, society with society that we that they end up falling into. There's only there's only been a few cases where they had some degree of foreknowledge. Um, Blade is a, is a good example of that because even though he was the younger even though he was the younger member of the action team, he w he um he had ar he had already he had already known how to use his abilities for a few months by that point and was already a member of board. Um, but when it c and but when it comes to this when it comes to this approach. I feel like the, I feel like the setup that we have for this is get is almost almost gift almost um almost gift wraps us the the notion of a some somebody who somebody who was who was just a who was just a commoner up until this point um is is it's suddenly re, it's suddenly revealed that they are that they are the next in line to to we to wield what to wield one of the um Sengo, one of the Sengoku systems. Yeah. Hell, we hell we kind of already we kind of already had this with um, with zero one. You know, up, mm -hmm. up until that, even though he was the even though he was the grandson of the president, um, Aru Aruto was at, up until that point just a struggling comedian. Yeah. Um, I'd say. Because of because of that, I'd say the I'd say the best approach is that this is some this is somebody who, up until up until that point, he was just a he was just a regular old nine to fiver, and mm -hmm. then then he then he finds out that he's he finds out that he's related to, um to one to one of the one of the former heads of a of a uh, clan. Yeah, um, related related to the clan fam the main clan family in some way shape or form. Yeah, um. Because 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 of that, um, if we're do, if we're doing this kind of hypothetical for our primary, um, which clan do we, which clan do we go with? Um, if we're doing this sort of hypothetical, which clan do we go with? Hmm. <clears throat> He's a normal Joe, or she. Mm -hmm. Normal Jane. Being approached by someone letting them know, yeah, you're actually related to Clan Head X, and we need you to step in to be the new Clan Head because we need someone to take on the next writer. Hmm. That's actually really hard. I mean, that's actually really hard. The I the one that the one that I'm think the one that I'm thinking of is um is Mantis. That's the one that that's the one that comes at that comes at me the most. I could see Mantis. I could also see Scorpion. Um, I would. I would say. I would say. I would say. In, I would say in this case. Um, I'd. Pro I'd. There's a. There's a bit of baggage with using. With using Scorpion, and that's the reason why I went with Mantis. Um, since Mantis Mantis is the is the most down is arguably the most down the most down to earth of the clans. At least at least at least um, relatively speaking. Okay, and then of course the uh, the Mantis got the uh, particular prophecies from probably someone in the Phoenix Clan mm -hmm. and the Dragon Clan since they have all the surveillance. Is the one to point out who the person is. Yeah. So I'm work working together between some clans, even though they all mistrust each other a lot, because it was so important. This had to be done. Yeah, and I plus I'm guessing you know the emperor or empress of uh, or in this case the city magistrate or city governor of mm -hmm. Rokugan said, "Guys, 
You gotta find the new, the next head. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Um, and bec- because of, because of, I know we I know we said we'd skip over the minor clans, but I could easily I could easily see them being a, the equip the equivalent of of um people running small businesses. You know they ha- they handle they handle small they handle small scale events, not nothing nothing big. Um, I'd say akin to the people who just handle petty crime in Hero Society in um, Hero Aka. Or the or the lower class heroes in um, One Punch Man. So they're essentially all the the normal Kurokages. Got it. Yeah, the it's just that they don't all look the same. We're not de- we're not dealing with the full on mass produced, but we are de- but they are on that particular tier. Um, I would I would say you have a bit of that and a bit of the di- a bit of the DIY approach that you see in tuner culture. Where they have, they have, they have a, they essentially have the get the lock seat of a Kurokage, but they've all, they've all mod, they've all modded it to suit them personally. Yeah, and it's only the clan heads that have these lock seats anyway. Um. And you, usually, usually it's because they did something exceptional and then they get it, which is how minor clans tend to be established, anyways. But I'd but I'd I'd say be, I'd say because I'd say because of because of that of that approach you um it is te- it is tempting to make to make our to make our main to make our main person just a just a um either a, either a fisherman or actually instead of a fisherman what about a um what about a sushi chef apprentice sushi, sushi chef sushi yeah. chef and. If some if somebody's thinking that that I'm doing Shinken Gold with this kind of setup, well, not far off, just with different weapons and not being a ninja. Because Shinken Gold was a fucking ninja. Let's not even lie to ourselves. No, he was an EI Jutsu Master Samurai. Who occasionally had stuff like smoke bombs. Yeah, but he was going for uh, a samurai and police enforcer. That's why he made the entire lantern. Yep, fair point. Fair point. Um, I give, but I'd, but I would, I would say that the that when it comes, to, when it comes to the when it comes to the, as far as our secondary. I would I would say the sec I would say the the only person who sh- who who could fit as our secondary is is Hida because everybody everybody else is either is either too distant or 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 just or just sees or just sees the new Yoritomo as an upstart. So the Crab Clan is the only one that likes him. Yeah. If, um. I would I would say I would say that when it comes to our portrayal of this particular Hida, he is def he is the big brother archetype. <laughs> or or if you or if you prefer a um he's not too far removed from a Boncho. <laughs> hmm. He he looks out he looks out for his he looks out for his underlings but he does but he doesn't take anybody slacking off and doesn't take uh-huh. it, and and takes even and well hit and his approach with his approach with the other with the other clans is I ha- you all are a bunch of pretty boys and I hate this and I hate the sight and sound and smell of you now let's get now let's get something done before before I just de- before I decide to before I decide to throw something at you. I hate all of you, and if you don't start helping, I'm gonna punch all of you. How's that sound? Um, if if I need if I need to use a more contemporary example, um, John Adams. Hey. <laughs> 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 Who the only the only reason he was brought into 
was brought into diplomatic meetings was because was because he, was because of the fact that he was that he was going to be brutally honest with everybody in the room, and he and he hated the French just as much as he hated the British. Yep. Um. And because so with with that we with that we kind of have our our primary and se and secondary. Um. I would I would say I would we already meant we already made clear that our monster of the week are the oni. Um, yeah. And instead instead of doing the whole thing of give of giving their name in order to get power, I'd re I th I think a I think a better approach was would be um would be them get them ste them stealing someone's name and using that to um using that to using that to manifest. I think um, we. I think it should go with a compromise. I think it should be p people tricked into giving their names. Yeah. By whoever is, whoever our mysterious mid boss, because it's usually the mid bosses that are doing the errands at first. Um, is tricks the normal people of our fine city. Mm-hmm. To uh, give their names for an easier life or m more honor, or you know, depending on the people he's affecting or she's affecting in whatever district, mm -hmm. and the oni then manifests once the name is given through the person. So it's not just a case of defeat the oni, everything's good. You're also trying to save the person that is now manifesting the oni because uh, they're essentially partially tied to this oni. Mm -hmm. Um, and with and with th with that, I would I would say, th um, when it com when it comes to when it comes to the whole when it comes to the whole issue of what of them mo of moving around in moving around in districts, um, you could you it could it could very easily you have a very easy formula with this kind of thing, um, him tr him trying to him trying to either nego negotiate or gets or get something from one of the from one of the other clans or trying to or being a intermediary to solve it, to help with a dispute and the, and then things go south yeah um not to mention this uh while this wouldn't be as open a conflict between writers as Gaim was it, a lot of the conflict would be much more diplomatic in nature and under the under the uh the it would be in you know behind the scenes mm -hmm. under the table type stuff um obviously our our Hida would not be having any of it because this is all just backwards just let us the fuck throw mm -hmm. and uh well our our new common writer our main character would be like Trying to learn both sides of the world just because um, not everybody is the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I get the feeling that he that like a like a lot like a lot of folks he would have this he would have this idea there would be this idea in his head about what about what the other what the other samurai are like and then having to deal with what they're actually like. Mm hmm. Um. And I'm not I'm not using this to do some sort of classism thing. It's a it's a case of is a case of the age old never meet your heroes. Um but I I would I would say when it comes to the mid boss that would probably be a oh, would probably be an oni lord. Yeah. Now one of one of the thing one of the thing I'm I'm considering is at a at a midpoint escalation should we ha should we have it that after years of wandering um Rosaku makes his appearance um I I'm not so sure about that yeah, scr I'm scratching that simply because that because that was meant to kick off the whole enlightenment rules with the with the card game. Um, plus, he plus he ends up he ends up dying before he can do much. So, 
but when it comes when it comes to the when it comes to the monks, I do feel like the the um the Brotherhood of Shinsei should be our, be our equivalent of the local police. Yeah. You know they have they have they have some de- they have some degree of abilities, but once o- but um once only sh- but they focus on they focus on the um the every on helping out everyday people. Once on once Oni show up, they their their policy is is to get is to so- sound the alarm bells and get one of the writers' attention. Um. But. When, but when it comes to the mid-season escalation, I do feel like instead of instead of using Rosaku, I feel like that I feel like that's where um, Daigotsu should make should make his appearance known. Yeah. Um, you can pro- you can probably ha- you can probably have it that the that the one who's the that that who is the most mysterious in in this bunch is um. Is Bayushi to the point where whenever he, whenever he's, whenever um, there's a meeting between, with between our between our hero and Bayushi, Bayushi's never seen. He's hidden behind a he's hidden behind a screen. Yes. So we so when we need to have our escalation, we can have it that he sh- that at the end of a fight he shows up just going, this is about to get a whole lot worse. Which will which will be a bit of a thing because up until that point everybody's talked about Bayushi. He's he's had eight he's had agents everywhere, um, giving out giving out warnings or giving information that you didn't hear from him. But he never sh- but he never shows up. Didn't hear didn't hear it from whom? What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. No, I don't know you're talking about. <laughs> I'm. De- I had I. There, of course, there is the there is the whole thing of isn't the whole mysterious thing more of Togashi's deal? Um, Togashi, Togashi, Togashi is somebody who the Dragon District is certainly has that degree of mystery, but not in the same way. So this is something that would the idea of of finding hidden threats is very much a Scorpion thing. Yes. And when and of co- of course, um, there's the re- there's the revel I'd say there's the there's the revelation where Daigotsu's agents start sh- start showing up, and then Daigotsu himself makes his appearance, um, where you get where you end up getting the revelation that he's he was the Lord of sh- he was the Lord of Shadows, but he was kicked out, and. The o- the Oni Lord, who's currently run- who's currently running things in the Shadowlands, is his enemy, but he's no saint. Um, True. And like 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 we said er- like we said earlier, he fi- um fighting the fighting the other riders is some is something that is is something that is seen as a chore for him. Um. I would, I would say that when it when it comes to when it comes to escalating things escalating things further, um, the end of that particular arc would be would be would be would be him would be the would be that Oni Lord um, getting taken out. That would be that would be that would be the climax mid season. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's. And that that brings the question after after that do you would you have it that Daigotsu is 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 the b bag or or do you want to integrate the four wins idea that we mentioned earlier um Daigotsu should not be the b bag um. Daigotsu Daigotsu's whole thing is that he he wanted to get out of the shadowlands and get the people out of the shadowlands to get them out from under the demons and under or, or under the oni and under fulang. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so he should be an anti-hero for sure, but uh not the bbeg. He he seems like it at times because some of the things he does don't seem conducive to the rest of the clans or even the city. 
But that's probably because he's following some sort of prophecy, which is something that should be hinted at maybe a couple times. Yeah. Um, the four winds might be a good idea. Or... Uh, we could... We could also have it so that um, another champion of Jigoku has been selected. Maybe Fuleng is coming back. Maybe maybe Kalima. Maybe some other evil I'm, thing. I'm more, I'm more in I'm more in the vein of of wanting to use of wanting to use Fu. Of, there are two revelations that I think I think could I think could be brought up in the mid in the mid season. One mm -hmm. is the is the fact that there are actual people living in the Shadowlands, which. Up until that point, all we've seen from that, all we've seen coming out of the Shadowlands are Oni, mm -hmm. which is is going to be a bit of a revelation f for a lot of people. And two, it's it's reve it's revealed that um that the that the that the true plan was to re was to resur was to resurrect um Fu Lang, who the last time he showed up, it took it took these it took set. It took the seven thunders to take him out. Yep. And even even then, it was it wasn't ta it it wasn't permanent. Um. So of course, what of course once once it gets once it gets out among the other writers that Fu, that Fu Lang is is coming. Um. That's I'd say that's when you'd integrate something like the. Fu, I'd, in, I'd say instead of the four wins, make that make that kind of thing a a um, candidacy arc, i.e., trying trying to de trying to decipher who the thunders are. Mm. Since obviously the Oni would want would want the thunders taken out, or at, or at the very le at the very least, and at the ver even if they're not the individual people, you could have it that the thunders are. Some sort of some sort of hidden weapon that Shinsei had made. Yeah, which I actually think would be better because you're not doing the whole transferring the rider ability to one to one of the thunders. Um, yeah, that seems like a better idea. Yeah, <clears throat> and I would I would say in, I would say in that I would say in that reg in that regard. Um, the there's a, there's a bit of there's a bit of a there's a bit of a race to to uh, make to find out to find where to find where the th where the thunders are and guard them for when, for when the time comes and also to also to get the other clans to stop bickering for once and I'd say I'd say it's in this situation that um. Common writer Rokugan starts to make his appearance. His, mm -hmm. his or her, his or her. You know, as, as a sign of. You guys, you guys need to, you guys need to knock this shit out because when Fu Lang shows up, nobody's gonna, sur nobody's gonna survive. Yeah. Whereas Daigotsu has a hidden plan yet, yet again. If we go into the whole death of Fu Lang arc that Daigotsu goes through. Yeah, I um, uh, I would I would say that the big thing that's causing them to bicker in the second half is what to do what to do about the humans in the Shadowlands. Do we just do we, the do we just leave them there? Do we try do we try and do we try and do we try and take them into the city? Yeah, and the 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 uh the mantis, especially with our main character, would not be willing to abandon them. Mm-hmm. Whereas, whereas a lot of the, I don't, I'd also say that he, I'd also say that Hida would also, would also be, would also be opposed to just, to just leaving them there as, at, because, well, his family, his family was front and center during the, during the, during the worst of the, of the incursions. Yeah. And as much, as much as he, as much as he hates the Oni, um, He's not. He's. He's. He's not. Al he's not Alexander Anderson. I'll put it that way. <laughs> he's. Not, he's. He's not. 
It's not a he's he doesn't do he isn't doing a kill them all and let and and let the gods sort out the rest. I actually think the Firehawks might be a better might be a better example of this kind of thing. <laughs> um but but un unfortunately they're unfortunately they're all outvoted because everybody else doesn't doesn't see it that way for one reason or another. Even if it's because hypocritical. the clans are a bunch of bickering ninnies. I'd say the I'd say the only other person who would be on their side in this would be would be um Shinjo. Shinjo? Yeah. Uh, from Unicorn? Yeah, probably. Um, lar largely because largely because of a of a similar kind of background, since they since they took they took other people in and it and it ended up enriching their clan. Mm -hmm. Um, but of course the of course the the crane the crane wouldn't ha the crane wouldn't have it because because the, because it's a you'd ha you'd have cases where some people would some people wouldn't take it because because of because of social issues whereas other other people like say the dragon would be f would be far more altruistic about their reasoning. Mm -hmm. But the bot the bottom line is for one reason or another the answer is no. Yeah. Um and I'd I'd go I'd go with the I'd go with the and once the once these things get reach a boiling point that's when you can do the that's when you can do the whole thing of um he of of, Ro, of Rokugan making an making an appearance and and demanding that they that they stop that they stop bickering and look for the thunders. Uh huh. Which is which is what the crux of the second half would be is looking for them, and it is t it is tempting to have that be a upgrade item. Um. But tr in tr but in tr in truth, I'd r in truth I'd rather just have it as a that each of the thunders is a is the original version of the of the Sengoku driver. And uh, mm -hmm. um. It does. It doesn't give anything new. It just. It just makes. It just makes all their normal stuff a whole lot more powerful. Um. Is the the idea that I'm going with is that the cur the current form of the Sengoku driver is, is um. Is di is dialed is dialed down from the originals so that so that it'd be easier to use. Because yeah. They, because they were made to fight Oni, not. A god. Um. When it com when it comes to the when it comes to the when it comes to the finale, that's when you can have your hu your huge fight against against Fu Lang as he ma as he makes his appearance. Um. And given what you given what you mentioned, I would I would actually I would actually have it that. Um. Daigotsu pulls a kill steal. Kill um, steal. Yeah. Just just when thing just when thing just when things are done, it's it he ends um he ends up he ends up completely draining Fu Lang's power and be, and becomes and becomes the new the new Kami of the Shadowlands. Um, yeah, the master the master of Jigoku. Mm -hmm. However, I'm not using this to make him the B bag. It's more of in doing this, he basically wipes out the de the demons and closes off the Shadowlands. Yeah. Um. And th and th and that's how that's how you can kind of have you can kind of have your ending. Um. If you want if you want to have some sort of if you want to have some sort of backdoor, you can ha you can have it that some t that sometimes str sometimes only stragglers will sh will show up. Or, or you, or you can have it. You can have it that if you want, if you want to go um, Showa era common writer, you can you could e you could easily have it that he dis that he is that he is get that he is given a he is given a new he is given a new driver to go to go out and see and see what and see what other threats are out there. Yeah. You know the. You know, mirroring the whole the whole common writer going off into the sunset. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I'm not a fan of doing this in the latter case because we've established that as that as the as the as the head of one of the of one of the great clans, he has his own set of responsibilities. Um, but I'd, but it would pr it would probably it would probably be a bit more appropriate for him for him to um me for him to m make a bit of a move in s in setting someone up setting someone up as the f as the first emerald magistrate or, essen or essentially convincing the convincing the convincing Rokugan to to set up the, to set up a magistrate system for, so that pe so that people can def so that people can defend the ep the um city without having to without having to worry about whether or not they can go into this or that district Mm -hmm. Um. Since I'd probably make it clear that just go that just going between districts sometimes is a challenge. Yeah, at least if you're part of the any, any of the actual clan bougies and such. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and that's that's how that is that is more or less how, that is more or less how we, how we do it. Um. Yep. And I'd. And I'd say I'd say I'd say that's enough material to run to run fifty episodes, um, plus a movie if we if we're feeling generous. Yeah. As far, as far as as far as how as far as what sort of setup we'd use for a movie, that's pr that's pretty that's pretty simple. A a Ronin with a driver. You know, some, um, somebody likes, I keep thinking, I keep thinking it's Yatsu, but that's not, but the, Yotsu, which was, which was, which, for a while, for a while, they, for a while, they were a, they were a Ronin family until they, until they were given a minor clan status. Mm -hmm. Um, you can just have, you can just have them as, as one who's. A bit, of, a bit of a, a bit of a anti-villain. You know, somebody who who has good, who has good intentions. He's just not. He's just. He just doesn't have all the facts. Yeah. But. Now, of course, of course, when it comes, of course, when it comes to integrating this kind of thing into into some sort of. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna. I was going to ask how you how you'd integrate this into some of the established writers, but I hate the spring movies, so we're not <laughs> doing that. <laughs> but that is going to do it for this particular adventure with adventure within the watch. Um, next week, we'll, next week we'll be do we'll be doing something equally crazy, and I and I hope you, I hope you all will look forward to that. And of course. There's pl there's plenty of stuff going going down over over the next few days as there always is here, on the open bar of the internet. But until then, on behalf of the good brothers present and not present, my name is Mildra. I am your gaming monk, and join the watch.